Hello, and thank you for joining us, everyone. Uh, I am Q. I, I am your humble narrator for the evening. Uh, welcome to uh, Meddling Kids, an adolescent monster of the week adventure. Um, around me are my uh, lovely and esteemed colleagues, uh, the Rowdy Bunch. Um, today we're playing Monster of the Week, uh, which is a 2D6 based game. Um, tabletop RPG uh, based on tropes um, that are from like you know common uh, sci-fi and fantasy uh, genres like uh, mon uh, the monster of the week type shows such as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Supernatural, X Files, etc. Um, uh, our twist on the game is that uh, everyone here, all of the monster hunters, are shrunk down and they are in middle school. Um, they go to Refuge Junior High in Oregon, and things are never quite right in Refuge. Um, so, uh, let's go around the table and introduce uh, each of our players, plus uh, each of their characters. So, let's start with uh, Friendly. You go ahead, bud. Tell us a little fun fact about Gabriel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. I don't know why. Sorry, uh, first time hosting this particular stream, so I'm not panicking. Because... Yeah, it's uh it's unmuted, but it's just not capturing the desktop audio, strangely enough. Uh oh. <coughs> OBS? Oh. Okay. Um Second. Okay, you gotta say something real quick. Hello. Hello. All hey. right, and uh, has stream <laughs> caught up? It's fixed. It's fixed. Okay, excellent. Yep. Love it. Um, thank you so much, stream, for helping out. Uh, uh, you'll get a um associate producer credit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> associate producer stream chat. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, Gabriel, please, uh, introduce yourself, or, or Friendly, introduce Gabriel. Uh, yeah, hello, my name's Friendly, I go by Friendly Plays X or Friendly Plays all over the internet, you can find me among social places. Um, I play Gabriel the Wrong, and he's a little badass kid that thinks he's, like, way cooler than he is, and he also calls everybody Gab Gabriel and the gang, <coughs> Pam pending. <laughs> all right um so that that's your fun fact that he just calls everybody gabriel and the gang no he made a new youtube channel <laughs> oh sick okay D does he have like a gopro that he wears when like fighting okay yes sick and the youtube channel is called gabriel and the gang <laughs> five seven three eight <laughs> just keeps forgetting passwords he's terrible gabriel, with that <laughs> gabriel and the gang was not taken just so you guys know. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're well, um, <laughs> uh, Savannah, uh, you play Kyle the Mundane. Introduce us to yourself and to your character. I'm Savannah. I play Kyle the Mundane. Uh, <laughs> he's the Xander of the group. He has no skills, no talents, except a charming attitude and a candy <laughs> spirit about him. Um, for today's Kyle, fun fact. Uh, Kyle one time beat Dragon Slayer <laughs> at the arcade, but nobody believes him because they nobody saw it because nobody ever pays attention to him. So, like, he can't prove that fact. Oh, man. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Cause, uh, but he like... does have the Dragon Slayer, like, title under his belt, okay? <laughs> so he's, he's checked that box. Awesome. It cost him three hundred dollars to do it. <laughs> three hundred dollars in a whole summer. <laughs> it took a lot of like grass cutting money. <laughs> awesome! Thank you very much for sharing. Um, 
Justin, uh, let's go with, with you and uh, let's uh, introduce us to, to Brighton, the expert. So hi, uh, my name is Justin, uh, at Zort1, everywhere on the internet that you may find me. Um, and uh, I play a Brighton, the expert, who is all about the uh, knowing of the lore of mythical and magical created things. Uh, he is the super nerd of the group, uh, as in he is the library assistant, and he uh, very much enjoys retro things. And um, my fun fact about him is that last summer, before this all happened, mm -hmm. he had a job working at like a coffee shop. Ooh! And he did not do very. He did, he was terrible at it. Oh man! And he and he, and he got fired, and but he didn't care. Because that gave him more time to watch Star Trek. Oh, nice. The day. Gotcha. <laughs> um, you know, Mom, I think I've changed career paths. I want to uh, critique TV shows. Um, I want to be a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why like, I'm okay. <laughs> that's why I'm staying home and I'm watching Star Trek. <laughs> not not because yeah. I got you know let go or anything. We parted ways mutually. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Um, all right, and pizza. Um, go ahead and introduce us to Bobby, the Pararomantic. Share your fun facts and, and tell us what you're all about. Um, okay, so Bobby's the oldest of the group. He's kind of the one who looks over everyone. And his fun fact is that um, he's been trying to sell these Pokemon cards online, but his dad won't let him use his computer. So he goes to the library, but the library times him <laughs> out after 30 minutes. So... He can never actually succeed in selling the Pokemon <laughs> cards. It's just like every week he just keeps getting to this point and fails. Awesome. So it's it's a it's an exercise in futility, but keeps him happy. Yeah. It's something to do. Can I, can I ask a question? Can I yeah. ask a question relating to your fun fact? None of them are worth any money, are they? <laughs> all like regular. Like, yeah, yeah. Dollars. They're all like fifty <laughs> cents a dollar. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I, I mean, at to make sure he wasn't sitting on a fucking Charizard. Yeah, <laughs> at best you can make back your money that you spent on the pack. That you, like that's generally how it goes. Like every once in a while you'll you'll pull something cool, but you you'll be like, well, no, this one's expensive. I don't want to sell it. Like, <laughs> right? No, um, no, none of that is canon. Like that I just said, but yeah, everything that the uh, pieces that is canon. Anyway, uh, yeah, excellent. Um. So thank you so much for uh, sharing uh, with with uh, Bobby's phone fact there. Uh, Travis, introduce us to Leon the Spellslinger. I think you might be muted, buddy. <laughs> you can hear what I'm saying. Did you like my little slide of hand there? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm uh, I'm Travis. I play Leon the Spellslinger. Um, the only little fun fact that I've had for him mm -hmm. is that he does not get his father's obsession with Shia LaBeouf. He's seen the movies, <laughs> even the good ones. He's like seen holes and stuff, and he just doesn't get why Shia LaBeouf was popular for that brief period of time. <laughs> brief, he's so popular. Well, I mean, he he was popular, and then he was just out of the media, except for like weird stuff, like wearing a bag on his head, and then he was back <laughs> in movies again for some reason. Yeah. So he yeah, did that thing <clears throat> where he like stayed in a movie theater for three days and watched all of his movies and made them free to the public. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like, well, I don't know, Lee. I don't know, Preston. I just, uh, I think that, uh, I think he's just a real neat guy. He's a he's a real go getter. And he's he's a he's the classic comeback story, Preston. <laughs> this does no, he's, I mean he's I uh, he's he's the millennial uh Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> that would be an interesting thing to watch play out, but yeah. <laughs> he's just so so upset that now there's a giant Shia LaBeouf head in the house and his dad just sort of keeps it in the living room because it won't fit anywhere else. <laughs> well, I work so hard on the Garstern thing. <laughs> I think we put a dent in the thing. I think we like, like knock it off. The, uh, the he, thing, so he's he, probably he, to fix it. 
you knocked it off of his head, it, like off of him, and it was like flopped off to the side. But it 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 didn't like get caved in or crushed or anything. He just kind of like put his hand in the inside and popped it back out like a like a like a hood dent. <laughs> uh, I hope you broke it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you had. I wish you had. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everybody for um introducing yourselves and sharing these uh, these fun facts about your characters. Let's yeah, just once jump again, right into it. I haven't followed you yet, so I just went ahead and did that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> all right, so here we are in uh, tonight's episode of Meddling Kids. This is Chapter 3, um, Beyond the Veil. <clears throat> this is the one where it gets darker, like in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Our dads are going to die here. <laughs> As we fade in from black, we look down on a sleepy, snow-covered town of Refuge, Oregon. We fly over treetops and hillsides, building tops and power lines, and come to rest at the front door of Refuge Junior High. We pause here for a brief moment, when the silence is shattered by a high-pitched bell ringing and the doors slamming open. School is out for winter break. And this is where our chapter begins. What is each of your characters' final class of the day, and what was your semester grade for that class? Oh, I already know. All right. Um, if if somebody's got a, a a good bit, then go for it. Dive in. Mine was photography. Cool. And I got an A plus, and I'm ashamed of it <laughs> because I'm so good at bird watching and like taking pictures <laughs> of the birds. My teacher was <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, awesome, love it. Who mine wants to was, go next? Mine was Jim. Jim is the last class of the day. That's good. And I got a D minus. Never dress out. <laughs> because, Absolutely. Because all I did was hide in the locker room and hit my jewel. You're just like blowing smoke in your shirt. Yep, and, trying, yep. and then you like go... It just yep. goes back out anyway. <laughs> and then when then when we did the run, <laughs> I was always last. <laughs> like like even the people that just not finished just walk in the mile. <laughs> yep. Just like you finished after the kid with a limp. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Right on. Um <laughs> okay, so uh Savannah, that was how about the you? Highest grade. <laughs> oh uh Kyle is an office TA now. Uh, because his last class used to be shop, but there was an incident, and now the shop teacher only has has one less finger on his left hand. So Kyle got moved after that. <laughs> so they just kind of make him wait out the clock at the end of the day, but like That's stapling so papers. That's so good. So like, wait a second. So okay, the shop teacher he he lost a a digit. Um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but w I have to ask, were all of the kids moved out or just Kyle because he was involved somehow? <laughs> it was just Kyle. Oh, no. <laughs> Shop class is allowed to continue, but not with me in the same room. Mm, that's so sad. The first well, time anybody ever noticed him. <laughs> I've gotten really good at stapling papers. <laughs> I can get a perfect 45 degree angle. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Awesome, uh, <laughs> Travis. How about how about you, with Leon? <clears throat> so uh, Leon's last class of the day is probably going to be like a his math class. Yeah, which he was failing before Ooh. he found out that he was magic. Um, and so this semester he has figured out how to uh, conjure up the answer books. <laughs> The answers for the tests the <laughs> night before, memorize them, and then has been succeeding in this class now. So he's he's playing to his strengths to achieve uh, unacceptable goals in his mind. Cool. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, I absolutely adore that. Uh, <laughs> I knew we were related somehow. <laughs> uh, Justin, tell us about uh, Brighton's final class of the day. Yeah, Brighton's final class is uh, an independent study 
uh, like creative writing class, so he could spend more time in the library. <laughs> Is it just so, him? Yeah, it's just him. <laughs> it's and it's creative writing. So he's just writing stories. And maybe somebody grades him. He doesn't know. He just submits it somewhere. <laughs> He just, he's actually not sure about his final grade, but he just emails it to the principal. The heck is a narrow toe? <laughs> 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 And like, if he is it okay if if we say that Brayden emails it to the principal to submit it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because. The principal's a nice enough guy that he will he will absolutely read every word that you have to say, but he will not ask for context. He will just say, "This one was good, thank you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, thank and you. Then, How'd you get my email? But that's it. But that's, but that's the only feedback he gets. He doesn't actually know if he got a grade or not. It's just, <laughs> I think I passed. Yeah, yeah. I never got a thumbs down, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can I add something to me and Gabe's oh, uh, little yeah. thing? Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, because I'm ashamed of photography class, Gabe mm. covers for me and says I'm in gym. And in exchange, I hype him up and say that he was, like, the best runner in class. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, you guys probably just didn't see him finish. He was running so fast. <laughs> Like, yeah. like, I counted all of his laps. They were there. I don't know why. He, he, I mean, early he, he, he would come back and him. do another lap a little slower the second time. <laughs> she takes like a stock photo of me to show everybody. <laughs> the same picture every time. I photoshop a different shirt color. <laughs> the Rocky Freeze frame finish. Yep. <laughs> this was him crossing the finish line. <laughs> now that his face got stuck. <laughs> Travis, your face got stuck like this. Look. <laughs> Can you do that one more yeah. time for me? Nope. Yeah. Nope. That's <laughs> also, I'm convinced that Brighton's just failing a class that he hasn't been showing up to because he thought he was supposed to be a Brighton. <laughs> Dude failed like social studies or some shit like that. <laughs> like him and that teacher have never crossed paths, so she just took him off the roster after he didn't show yep. up like the first yep. day. <laughs> awesome. <coughs> uh, I love it. Um okay, so um as you guys are are leaving school, <clears throat> um Brighton, you are the the kind of like first one to go over like we're, we're going to kind of zoom in on you real quick because as you are walking out, um, cause the, the library is closest to the main office, which is right by the front door. Um, you over here, Miss Schultz talking with Mrs. Rachel green, the school guidance counselor. And you over here, um, uh, Miss green saying, I just don't know what to do. Lid. I think I'm being stalked. I've already been in contact with the police and they're doing their best to catch whoever's doing this, but I'm, I'm terrified. Like they broke in and left messages on my bathroom mirror. How did they get into my house? Why? I feel like I'm coming unraveled. It sounds crazy, but sometimes when I'm home alone, I feel like I'm being watched. I know I sound paranoid, but I could swear there's someone right behind me sometimes. And Miss Schultz just kind of gives her a hug and says, You don't sound paranoid. Your fear is justified. Somebody invaded your personal space, and that's enough to shake anyone up. <clears throat> if you and, and Gary and Sarah want to stay at my place for a little while, I've got a spare bedroom. It's no trouble. And <clears throat> so um, Miss Green just kind of shakes her head and says no, and She's not going to let anyone drive her out of her home. She takes a deep breath in the two part ways. Miss Schultz, now noticing your presence, Brighton, uh, quietly says to you, team meeting. Nods her head in the direction of the library and walks that way. It reminds me of that movie Candyman. And then I just, and then I start, uh, I pull out my phone and text everybody. Gotcha. So, who did we establish had cell phones? 
Leon does, think... but the yeah. service hasn't been great. Right. Yeah. Um, we have to roll. To mine is like a shitty yeah. flip phone. <clears throat> like yeah. it doesn't so, have the ability to take pictures or anything. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so everybody that has a cell phone, uh, go ahead and roll luck. Uh, this mechanic is kind of a homebrew thing. Um, so. If you guys have spent luck points, then you're going to be, like, marking those those black boxes there. But if you have not marked off any luck to automatically make your roll into a 12, um, then you're perfectly fine. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, half, the, um, half the amount of luck that you have left. So 2d6 plus half the amount of luck. And if it's a decimal point, like 3.5 if you have 7... Uh, seven luck points, then you're going to round down to three. So. I have eight. I think I've used it once. You've used luck once just to, to twist a luck point? Okay. So yeah. you'd still have plus three if it's just one point of luck, because you'd have six remaining and... Yeah. So then I would have... So I, then I have spent four luck altogether? No, no, no. We're not spending luck. Okay. Oh, right, you're adding right luck. now, uh, yeah, it's uh, okay. well, you don't like mark off the box. It's just uh, like right. you roll two d six and then add the number of half the luck points that you have left. Gotcha. Uh, I got an eight. Eight. Okay, so we've got an eight from Travis and eight from Friendly. Thirteen. Thirteen. Wow. Savannah, Justin, what'd you guys get? I don't have a phone. What? <laughs> I have a screwdriver, like Doctor Who. That's uh, all I got. Gotcha. And um, <clears throat> okay, still in so the okay, Stay so you're me. still in the office. So uh, actually, Kyle, you would have overheard that same conversation. Okay, so everybody got just good enough to to kind of get that text message. You're gonna get it as you're in the parking lot because service is spotty, and you just received it. But like, you guys all just kind of like turn around and head back, head back inside. Um. So, yeah, um, Kyle, since you were working in the office, then you, you can head over to the library because you would have overheard the same conversation. Awesome. So, um, as you guys get to the library, um, <clears throat> Ms. Schultz, has, uh, she lets you know that she's already talked with Reese and there is no stalker like they feel uh the the three that didn't hear the conversation um directly um they, they kind of fill you in on what's going on so you guys would have all that same information that was spoken before um so schultz <clears throat> has already talked with reese and there is no stalker there's a haunting oh yeah friendly go ahead uh, am i all, heal all healed up from the last encounter yes yes everybody would be like at full health just want to make sure. Yeah, because it's been a couple of weeks. You guys have rested up, so yeah, go ahead and remove all harm. Cool, perfect, awesome. Um, so, so it's a haunting, you said. Yeah. Uh, so there's no stalker. There's a haunting. Uh, she says, um, when when Reese was checking out the house, he could feel something off about the atmosphere there. He said the air felt wrong. So we I have need a to help. Question. Yeah, go ahead. Is Supernatural in this universe? Like, have I have I been able to watch Supernatural before? That's up to you. Um, as if like as a canon in the universe or not. That's up to you. Perfect. We world build together, bud. Perfect. <clears throat> I narrate your story. <clears throat> Perfect. Sounds great. <laughs> so, um, so is Supernatural in this world? Oh yes. Absolutely. Oh okay. yes. And he, uh, oh yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Gabriel's very excited. <laughs> gotcha. Gabriel's um, like walking over and grabbing the grave digging shovels from out from their <laughs> hiding place. <laughs> no, he Gabriel's started, like with, really he started the with the salt shakers first. <laughs> and he keeps trying to get <laughs> Bobby into it. Keeps trying to get Bobby into it? <laughs> yeah, and, and Bobby can't get like past like season two. <laughs> I just don't know what you see in it, man. I don't know. Like, I don't get it. Um, but Bobby's lied and said he's watched it all, right? <laughs> <laughs> like you say stuff about things, and like in the past, like I started oh, yeah, like, man, like that was yeah. Wild. yeah, you know, like when the Demogorgons come out, like yeah, <laughs> <that's> crazy, <laughs> awesome. Um, 
So uh, she lets you guys know that um, the air felt wrong, so we need to help Mrs. Green and put an end to whatever this is. Um, she says that she's got some stuff that might help. Uh, so she walks over to a door, a door in the library, takes out her keys and unlocks it, and she steps inside, gesturing for all of you to follow. Do you? Yes. Everybody just kind of trails along? Cool. Um, as you walk into the room, you notice that the door has a plastic sign that says AV storage. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, um, inside this room, uh, you guys, like, this is where the, uh, Ms. Schultz lets you know that this is where the AV club, back when there was one, used to meet. And now it's just for, like... Um, storing the the old like tube TVs and DVD players and VHS players that are that w- that are no longer in use because every classroom has a has a flat screen on the wall. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, she um, kind of gestures to all of all of the stuff and she goes, "Whatever you guys think we might need, like have at it." I'm gonna look over. T- I'm gonna look over to her, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna I'm gonna say. Where's the shotguns and the and the salt rounds? <laughs> <laughs> and she's just gonna kind of like look at you, and say, "If you can build one out of what's in here, then go for it." That's how Sam and Dean did it. I'm I, who I'm not familiar. And she just kind of like turns and walks away. Bobby, you know, like <clears throat> the best ghost hunters in the world. <laughs> Oh, those guys from the Travel Channel? (laughs) (laughs) Right, just shakes his head at that. Winchester! No, Winchester! They do it all wrong. Oh, wait, you mean like like the the mansion out in California? Like Sam and Dean Winchester, the Winchester brothers, saving people, hunting things, the family business! Oh, yeah, with the. (laughs) No, I've never seen Scarface. You know, Is that what that movie was about? Had that Walking Dead guy in it for a minute, right? Cause... Yeah, the Walking Dead guy was in it. Coral. <laughs> and then uh, Brighton starts to go through like he he wants to start actually like preparing for this, but he okay. like is distracted by the retro stuff that's in here. So he like, yeah. hey, there's there's a VHS, VHS copy of Star Trek Five. <laughs> and just like holds it up. Like, oh, look at that. That's such a specific thing to be in a school. That's a clue. Is that a clue? <laughs> That's Leon saying that. <laughs> I'm going. To, I'm going to look for salt. You're gonna go look for salt. Okay. Yes. Um, because it is winter. And a lighter. Because it is winter in the Pacific Northwest, there is snow on the ground, so you would know that there is rock salt readily available. Pretty much everywhere because they have to salt the street and they have to salt the sidewalks. So Do I find a lighter as well. Find a lighter. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you. I'm gonna say you probably have a Zippo because you seem like that kind of kid. I'm ready to go. Although you have right, pointedly got- said that you don't smoke. You no, only he doesn't. jewel. Yeah, he only jewels. All right, but so- he likes he likes a Zippo because his grandpa gave it to him. All right, fair enough. Like, that, that's something that's small and simple enough to get. You can get them at Spencer's, and they don't check your age for some reason. So, yeah, his grandpa totally didn't give it to him. Oh, uh, okay. He just got it from he got it from Spencer's. Oh, awesome. But says his grandpa gave it to him. That's like a My Chemical Romance, like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then he's going he's gonna to look, after he finds the lighter in the rock saw, he's going to look to everybody and be like, all right, we just got to find the bones. <laughs> bones? All right. Uh, okay, so, well, um... Okay. And then he kind of, like, Brighton kind of thinks about that for a minute and goes, we got to find where her house is built. It could be on a burial ground of some kind. We'll burn down the house. <laughs> I, well, I'm in. No, but, you know, uh, it could be in the basement. You know, the ghost could be coming out of the basement. Burn Look, like, half the, the time in Supernatural, the bones are just in the walls. Clearly, we just got to bang up the walls. Yes. Just, just burn down the house. I think that that, that fixes everything. I agree. No, 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 no property damage of the 
person's place. I mean, they're not going to know that it's us, us, okay? If everyone could do me a favor, and because you are in this fantastic, uh, wondrous uh, treasure trove of retro tech, everybody go ahead and... Let me see here. Um, If you would like to try to MacGyver together something some ghost hunting equipment that's what this room is for you can roll weird science which is on the alternate weird moves um list so if you would like you can roll weird science or you can roll to um where's the other one You can roll to act under pressure just to find something in the room. I know that act under pressure isn't really exactly applicable here, but um, but yeah, we can we can use uh, that if that's if that's better for you. I need to since I'm the wrong, then I pick that as one of my things. Mm -hmm. I need to roll still. Oh, um, like what do you what do you need to roll? I'm asking if I need to roll because I picked a specialist weapon as one of my things. Oh, as the okay. Um. So a specialist yeah. weapon, um, no, I mean, if you want, uh, like, I'm sure that in your, in your shed at home, you've got a, like a, like a, uh, potato cannon or something like that. If you want to like make rock salts, uh, bombs to fire out of the potato cannon, then you can no, absolutely do that. Gonna look for, he was just going to look for like an iron rod. An iron rod. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Something iron. Yeah. No, you can absolutely get, get an iron rod. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, so you find a, 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 like a fireplace poker. Perfect. Q, I love you. Yeah, no worries. Love you too, buddy. Took me off guard there. I was very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's exactly right. what they use in Supernatural. So, it's just like random punch. iron shit from the people's houses. Uh, actually, hang on. Uh, retroactively, I'm going to say that you go into the school kitchen and you find an iron, a cast iron skillet. Much yes, cast yes. iron. There you go. Perfect. Um, I can barely carry it. I'm I like, was, <laughs> I was thinking like, why would uh, a fire poker be in a school? <laughs> and then like cast iron skillet is more believable, even though they don't actually like cook all the food there. They just kind of reheat pre cooked food. Um, our education system is bro broken, guys. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. But yeah, so if anybody wants to uh, roll weird science, go for it. So I did, and I yes. got. I'm, I'm going to make uh, an like an EKG meter. Like okay. That's what I want to try to do. Okay. Uh, so uh, an or, EKG oh, uh, is like um, like the Ghostbusters thing that Egon has. Uh, like okay. And, the uh, EMF. Uh, yeah. Uh, EMF, EMF detector. Yeah. So electromagnetic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. EMF. Cool. Um. So you want and to, then, uh, okay, go for it. Yeah, go ahead. I was say, and then I rolled a five on it. So. Five. <laughs> um. Okay. So you uh, yes. find an EMF detector, but it is constantly like hot at five. It's you just turn it on, and it seems to be busted. But you have one, but it's just like woo, constantly at five. So if it's only always at five, maybe if we go into an area where there's a ghost or something, it'll crank it up even further. I uh, well, it's it'll go it, like, back it's down. it's maxed out, oh. or maybe it'll maybe it'll go back down. But, um, yeah, man, sorry, bud. I used act under pressure. Okay. And I got an eight. Okay. And I so was hoping, I don't know what to do with that, but what I was hoping to do mm -hmm. is I was going to try to create. With the items in this room, my own hoodoo magic. And I expect it to fail, but it's just what I know what they do from Supernatural. Okay, so <laughs> with Act Under Pressure, that was to um, find items in the room. So with an 8, um, like with an 8. Oh, wait, kind wait of 10, a, 10, 10, because oh, my 10, plus 2 cool. Plus 2 cool, okay. Awesome, perfect. So you have a 10, then... What what retro item? What thing do you find in this kind of junk room? 
Um, it's not just technology. It's other nonsense storage stuff, too, that would be in a school. Can I help um, her out? Help him oh, out. I was going to get, like, some creepy, like, jar or something like that, you know, that had, like, okay. creepy science liquid or something. But what were you going to okay, say? Okay, so you just got a jar of formaldehyde. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I was going to say that I helped help him find a, a rat skull because he sees stuff like that in Supernatural all the time in the hoodoo bags. <laughs> gotcha okay so or like, like a, a weird cat skeleton yeah, i don't know <laughs> you okay well you know what with a 10 that's a full success so you find like uh the skull of a of a cat and also like a jar with with a snake in formaldehyde <laughs> amazing okay so um so you've got like i've got hoodoo items <laughs> yeah these like, are hoodoo items right I, I, are, are they magical? Who's to say? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, we got Leon here to make them yeah, magical. Absolutely. So yeah, you you absolutely find like an like an old biology box, and like open that up. So cool. Um, so we've got a busted EMF reader, um, and then we've got uh, uh, sorry, uh. Friendly, what was the item that you Cast had? Cast iron me? skillet. Okay, skillet. That's what I, I got. I got a okay. fucking skillet. Skillet. Let me we are start going to war. Notes. We are going to war, boys. Awesome. But you've you got a better... skillet. They hit a ghost? Yeah. Iron. It must have been EMF. Yeah. But it's all kind of. It's better, than, it's better than your EMF, huh? <laughs> Doesn't even work. It'll work. It'll work when the time comes. You'd think so, it'll work. So we've got a skillet, a busted EMF detector, and a cat skull slash snake in a jar. Um, awesome. Uh, did, did the other two of you, did you guys want to uh, roll to either act under pressure to find something or weird science to build something? Um, no. Uh, Leon's kind of just standing over to the side, not really sure... Uh, okay. What what sort of the point of all of this is because there's nothing specialized in there, but also he can't really he's not really good at building stuff. So he just kind of feels, uh, like he there's nothing in here that he could do. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. Um, and let me let me ask, uh, Kyle, where are you currently? Uh, I'm on the phone with the Catholic Church. <laughs> over by the help desk trying to locate a young priest and an old priest in the greater tri-state area <laughs> i love it i love to it to no success might i add um do me a favor and nobody uh, wants uh, to help <laughs> roll to act under pressure don't like that Phone, phones are nerd. Kyle's phones gonna be the one. Don't like that. Got a three. Act under pressure. <laughs> okay. Kyle's gonna um, be the one who gets well, through to the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Jews lately. I feel like I got a good grasp on the Catholic Church now. I have a plus zero, so I failed. Failed pretty failed. super hard. Got it. it um, failed big, big, big fail. Good news, mark experience because that's how this game works. Uh, you gain yep. experience from failure, so good stuff. Big, big, big experience. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, no, you you accidentally call uh the Saints football team, like in New Orleans. Um, that's fair. Like you call them, <laughs> and it's just like like oh, I meant like I needed a, an actual like Saint. Damn it. Like I needed somebody like a priest. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> um. <laughs> they send this to to to, their, to him. <laughs> the um. The other thing I thought about was um. He he grabs one of the old v tapes. Mm -hmm. Because he's like you know, and then like. I don't know how he would do this, but he would grab. Oh, he would grab with a VCR and a tape. Mm -hmm. And he goes, "What we'll do is we could hook this up to the TV, and if there's any kind of distortion in it, that means there's sometimes there's a spec, there's a ghost around." Okay. Okay. So kind of. Noise. 
using that as your emf detector that's awesome yeah so you just okay right on i i absolutely love that and you can totally take a, a vcr with you um that's perfect actually um can i have a bible a bible at the very least <laughs> if i can't Not find a school. place i'll be one myself yeah, kyle this is a public school i there's Take trying to be one in your textbook um i take it <laughs> what's the closest thing uh harry potter book yeah. awesome <laughs> awesome um, i take the sorcerer's stone with me um can i can i speak a little bit can i can i make it just a little can i throw some stank on it Kyle got ordained through the Universal Life Church online. <laughs> he was like, "Well, fine. Nobody's gonna. None of the Catholic Church is gonna answer me. I'll do it myself." And he goes online and he's like, "I am ordained now. I donate five dollars." And all that time that like that Brighton's been building like super science, like technology, I've just become a saint, a priest, a fake priest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You just went That's over to the, the library computer and now you can put um, Father Kyle, the mundane, on your character <laughs> sheet. Good news, guys. I will be an official priest in 24 to 48 hours. <laughs> Once they get my thirty five ninety nine for shipping and handling of my <laughs> licensure. <laughs> awesome. Um... <laughs> Goodness, okay. Um... All right, so I absolutely love all that. I'm gonna write that down. Kyle, but, is... but if you need a Bible, though, there's an app for it, right? Bible. I don't. <laughs> Somebody download the Bible app, and I will just I'll borrow it when I need it. Tell you can okay. steal. Why don't we just go to tell you can steal a Bible? Steal. I've got. Uh, I've got. The power of God and anime on my side. It's fine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, so uh, as Leon with... is uh, as Leon's walking out, he just picks up one floppy disk and is like, "This is crazy!" And like slips it into his back pocket. <laughs> he just thinks it's... the old technology so weird. Um, <clears throat> that floppy disk that you put into your back pocket—that was Brighton's copy of Doom. <laughs> yeah, that's my original copy of Doom. Don't worry, you've so, got like six more. It's cool. That was like your crappiest copy. That's why you brought it to school. I'm really bad at it. Really bad. <laughs> but I keep trying. It's my go get him spirit. <laughs> All right. Um. So also inside of this, uh, inside of this room, you guys find an old like, um, D battery radio. Um, that has a scan feature on it, so you can use that. Um, you guys uh, each have like just kind of a, a, a notebook in your backpacks. Um, you find one of those cool like um, like uh, dig like digital thermometer things with like the the, the gun thermometers. Um, <laughs> and uh, all we yeah, have to do is find the ghost forehead. <laughs> 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 um, and then you guys also find um, like an old uh, high eight camcorder um, that you can kind of like look through. No crucifixes by any chance. Um, no, but something to th think about, something to look out for. Okay, um, sick. Right on. Uh, here. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to turn, like, now that I, I've presented all of this stuff to you guys, I want to turn it over to you. Um, from here, where do you guys think that you should go? Have we gotten any more instruction from, uh, Lydia? About, like... Cause yeah, like, are we going to be able to go investigate the house, or is the family still there? Um, hey, they might be still there, but, uh, you would know... That's um let's see here. Um Miss Mrs. Green has a uh fourteen year old daughter named uh Sarah Riley. Um so Sarah um she is uh 
she's 14. She's in the uh, eighth grade because she has a late in the year birthday or, or an early in the year birthday. So she's like about to go over to um, to the 15? high school. She's about to go oh, okay. to, to the high school um, here next year. So does Gabe think she uh, does Gabe think she's hot? That, that's entirely up to you. Yes, he does. Okay. Um, because uh, right, she's guys, kind of she's this. kind of punk, kind of goth, like, um, like rebel without a cause. So Leon definitely has a crush on her. Same. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, so like, uh, today at All school right. she had, um, of course she had her her flannel parka on, but underneath that she was wearing a um, Joan Jet T-shirt. Um, that was also like kind of like faded and rugged and, and it looks like it was naturally faded. Like she got this at a, at, at like a Goodwill or something like that. Not like, like a, like a pre-distressed purchase shirt. So this is what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to look at everybody. <laughs> What's up? I'm going to look at everybody and be like, guys, don't you worry. I'll get, what's her name? Sarah? Yeah. I'll get Sarah out of the house. Don't you guys worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's at work. Oh. My, my dad's at work at the peanut butter factory. She can come over to my house. We can hang out and watch a movie, and you guys can go do what you gotta do. <laughs> Hold on. So wait. So wait. You get to go on a date while we go and try to find a supernatural entity. You were all like into being a supernatural hunter guy. Why don't like you should do that? <laughs> I take after Dean. <laughs> You Don't see worry, Bobby. Guys, distraction. <laughs> Bobby in the background, not jealous of Gabe being able to <laughs> hang out with the girl, but jealous of the girl for being able to hang out with Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought we were gonna hang but... out in Hong, Hong Goose. What the hell? <laughs> just... Or, or we can recruit her to help us. Well, I guess that's your job. She kind of scares me. And then, and then he, like, he grabs the, he grabs the, 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 v, v, uh, the VCR and the tape. Why does he scare? She scare you? Just you know, the flannel and the goth and just very assertive. Dude, she's hot. <laughs> oh no, we've lost Travis. Bobby, Bobby, don't you think that Sarah's hot? Uh, uh, I guess. Guys, we've lost guess. Travis. Hang on, I'm so sorry. Like, I I bet yeah. Brighton would think she was or not Brighton. Uh, Leon. Leon. <laughs> if it's Leon, here. I don't know what we'll, happened, man. I mean, we'll just vamp until he comes here. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's a uh, pretty hot lady. Hey, uh, hey, Caleb, you think she's hot, right? I have no time for women. I need to train the martial arts, and I must study the blade. And the Bible now. (laughs) And the Bible. And the priesthood now. (laughs) Celibacy. That's a thing. Yeah, you can't have sex now. It's all part of the plan, guys. (laughs) (laughs) I have big plans. Welcome back, Leon. You think think Sarah's hot, don't you? Hmm? What? You think Sarah's hot, right? (laughs) I never said that. Um, um, so how are we gonna get her? Um, she deflected. That means so she, we... she does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> huh? she no, I, no. I just I think that there's more important things to worry okay. about here than her being hot. Rock paper scissors and whoever wins gets to ask her on a date on Friday. Come on. Well, I do it just so that way they don't. I mean, isn't this a little bit reductive, guys? Isn't shouldn't she be able to make the choice on her own? Why don't we all go and ask her which one um, that she wants to go out on a date with on Friday, and then uh, <laughs> the rest of us have to go and investigate. Right, I mean, cool. this is this is twenty twenty, man. This is the girls aren't like objects. Gabe's gonna Gabe's gonna take his <laughs> hand. Gabe's gonna take his hand and lick it, and then flick his hair back with it, <laughs> you know? and then take a single piece of hair at the front and curl it like a like an old greaser. I take you a uh, cue bought, from I... Gabe, and I do the same thing, but put my little bit of a mustache, like barely coming in. <laughs> 
It's like <laughs> if all of you go to this poor girl and and say, "Okay, which one of us do you want to date?" That will be such a, a just a Christmas gift to me. And it's exactly what's happening. Let's go. Let's oh my go. god. Let's go. I will take it as a style. personal kindness that you guys right, you let me rip you. you to shreds like that. What? Fine, I'll fine. You know what? I don't like this plan, but come on, Caleb. I know you're celibate, but and then I uh, will <laughs> choose to lead Team Ghost Hunt. And then, and then, yeah, and then in the full spirit of Ghostbusters, he goes, "You know what? I like this plan. Let's go for it." <laughs> okay, all right, sounds good. All right, I gotta go get my woman. No, oh, man. So, um. <laughs> I saw that pizza. <laughs> Woof. Um, so every oh, I was just gonna say that um, everybody uh, do me a favor and just roll two d six and and give me that flat roll. Yikes! Is this uh, ghost hunt? smoothness? Hmm? Do you want team ghost hunt to roll? Look at oh, this. I got two sixes. Okay. Uh, I got two fives. Uh, I got two fives, too. Okay. You got a three? I got, I got a whopping three. <laughs> okay. So I got I got ten. All right. So um, that role was specifically to see uh, Bobby. Uh, you would know that uh, since Sarah is in your... Um, in your photography class, you know that she uh, goes to uh, after school. She goes to her after school job um, at her stepdad's uh, butcher um, butcher shop. Stepdad is is the the, the local uh, Main Street butcher at uh, Greens Meats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, is the uh, you know, he thought it was funny. Um, it, was, it might have been a poor choice on his, uh, on, uh, <laughs> but you know, he thought it was funny, so stuck with it. Um, so yeah, um, like you would know that that's that's where she would be after school. Oh God! So we're rolling up to her in a butcher shop. To all five of us ask her out. I was wondering if I share that information with them or if I try to ask her out. It's entirely like, up to you. You could be like, well, I I heard she hangs out at the arcade after school and then just hightail it out of there. Nah, I'm not like that. I would give everyone right. an equal chance. Okay, fair enough. That's why we're best friends. Right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm asking um, one last time if anybody wants to not do this dumb game and come ghost hunt with me. Come on, Kyle. I have <laughs> I have made my oath to the Lord. Fucking fucking Cranston, come on. Oh my god, I'll... we're just trying to distract her. You don't have to break any oath with the Lord. Like what the f I'll, we're gonna, I'll go we're to gonna watch. get the I'll we're gonna to get watch. to the ghost later. <laughs> This is far more important. The whole time, Leon's kind of inching towards the door to try to get an earlier start than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right. Right. the Bobby. type of kid who would watch Frasier and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I like Frasier would be too smart, but he would like really like Frasier's dad. <laughs> like, that's the character he would go with. I don't Bobby know looks if like he can't swim. Pizza. Like, like, is that a slight? Because I was that kid who watched Frasier and enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I watched Frasier as an adult, and I was like, wow, this show gets me. What happened? When did I get old? <laughs> right did around... anybody miss Unsolved Mysteries? Like the yes. old one with Robert Stack? Yes. Stay home no, and that... school and be like, oh, dude. That's, that stuff always she dead. freaked me she out dead. too much. <laughs> All right, I'm riding with Bobby. Say, like, case closed, Robert. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the entire ride there, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like going over my game plan with Bobby. Okay, <laughs> okay. What, what what you gonna say to her? Just wait and see. 
<laughs> and when in re reality, I'm just gonna wait for them all to flop, and I'm gonna be like the cool silent kid in the corner. And be like, hey, I just do one of these, <laughs> you know. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So, is everybody riding in in Bobby station wagon together? I'm sketching. Like You're sketching. <laughs> <laughs> On rollerblades. My dad Roller made blades. it so that way the station wagon is a manual, so that way I can be a man <laughs> and drive a manual. So like I stall it like every few blocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's every stoplight is a is a new like a hurdle. <laughs> and, and it's like you do that, and, it, and then Brighton, who has not really gone through, no, you got to make sure you got to lower lower it for like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like a uh, Brighton driving. Br yeah. Br Brighton, uh, like just like uh, Sheldon Cooper knowing how to swim. Uh, he knows how to <laughs> swim, but he's never been in a pool. Yeah, he's like, I know the practical applications. Now that I know it, I never have to go in the pool because I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Put an ease back on the clutch, and then do do this, and then. I absolutely Every love that. <laughs> All right. Um. So. Just Brighton the, on the sly, coaching Bobby from the uh, from the back seat. <laughs> I read the manual. I know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I have the window cracked ever so slightly, so I can jewel out of it. Okay. Oh my god, Leon is so car sick. We have dreams by uh, Fleetwood Mac playing on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's just a very lovely scene. You guys, it's like nothing. You don't hear anything but the music and. It's just very, very cruising, and then you realize, oh yeah, there's a ghost haunting a lady, um, and so you guys all get out of the car in front of like, uh, the the one thing that you are super proficient at is parallel parking because <laughs> there's never enough cars parked on the street that you can't just pull up into the space, right? <laughs> so you don't even have to like back in or anything like that. You just kind of pull into the space and you're good. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, you guys all like pile out of the car, and you're in front of Green's Meats. All right, who wants to go first? Leon is car sick from that ride, from the, right, the jerking. Brighton. So he's like, <clears throat> yeah, "You're going first. <clears throat> all right, cool. So I'm gonna walk in there, right? I take take a final hit of my my uh, my jewel in front of the window, uh -huh. so she knows I'm cool. Right. Put it in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Walk in, and she's sitting there at the front, Jeez. right? Ding ding. She's yeah. sitting there at the front, right? Uh she's there at kind of like uh reading a um reading a comic book that you're and he's gonna and unfamiliar with and she's just kind of leaning against the counter. She's got like a, uh, like a white jacket on and the, the stupid hat. Right, right. As he's going in, can I cast a spell? Hold on, but please just let me do this because it's hilarious. <laughs> <I'm about laughs> okay. <to. laughs> yeah, he, so if he's gonna undercut himself, then let's just let this play out. Yeah, I'm not actually. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so he's gonna take inspiration from his favorite rap song. Mm -hmm. He's gonna walk up to him and be like, "He's gonna wake up, grab beer, grab rear." <laughs> no, he's gonna say. Here. He's gonna say, "Come here, little mama. Let me whisper in your ear." <laughs> and she. <laughs> and goes back to reading. She just like just laughs it off. Just <laughs> okay. Oh, it's it's like that. It's like that. You ugly, anyways. It's <laughs> <laughs> like if I was ugly, you wouldn't have hit on me. And she's guys, just gonna let you walk away. Guys, she's mean. <laughs> he says oh, as he returns. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, Gabriel's toxic as hell, man. Oh yes! Oh yes! He's gonna Talk be the guy that gets the. He's gonna be the guy that gets the bad tattoo on his forehead. Y'all didn't know? Oh, just damaged. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Not yeah, not cause... spelled right either. D M G D. Damaged. It's gonna be like always turd, but it's meant to be tired. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, always tried. <laughs> you, you walk back and then Brighton just goes. Uh, swing and a miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 fuck off. <laughs> Loving that. <clears throat> so, <laughs> who wants to try this next? Brighton, you want to? 
Oh, you got the power, man. You got the magic. Go yeah, magic. I mean, listen, man. You know, when I go in there and I, I start casting magic, I don't want you to, like, be overshadowed by me, you know, after my display. Oh. So. And, then, and then he just goes, by all means, go ahead. She and might say yes. Gonna... She might say yes to you, Leon. She has, or, yeah, Leon, you, she has terrible taste. Stop oh, trying to be an insult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta. He's very hurt. Really right rethink now. how you're very uh, hurt right now. treating women. Like <laughs> he's very hurt. That was more of a jab at you than her. I'm saying you're <laughs> the terrible person. Wow. And okay. if you guys all look, she like. Sarah is like she's leaning on the counter and just like holding the it's just and then she's just like looking at all of you four feet outside of the front door in front of the glass window. Like she's just like watching and just like cocked one eyebrow, like Alright Leon tried the luck. Leon's got this. He pulls out his wand and everything and walks in. Whoa, whoa, put it away. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, she, she she's gonna like just close close her comic book because you have piqued her interest with the wand. Close her comic book with her thumb still inside of it. Cross her arms and he walks in and he puts one arm on the counter and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell have ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> dude like a discord made that so much better because of this like incredibly long pause like no i did that i just did, okay because it looked okay. like discord for, discord froze <laughs> I thought I thought he was just gonna sit there and stare at her the entire time <laughs> until she got, he got scared. <laughs> we think you have ghosts. We think you have ghosts. Like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Thank you for that gift. Um. So she's just gonna like. Leon, right? You know my name? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I kind of make it a point to know all of the, the kids at school's names. I gotta know oh, who right, I can trust, yeah. you know? Yeah, totally. Me too. Um, so we're ghost hunters, and we've heard some stuff has been happening... And we want to come check out your uh, abode? House. It's called House. Roll act under pressure. Oh, God. Because <laughs> you're, you're talking to a girl, so you know. <laughs> Oof, I got zero cool. And we've got a nine. A nine. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> You mentioned that, like, they've got you, like, we think you've got ghosts, and you go through all of this stuff, and she just kind of. She looks at you and kind of cocks her head, and she goes, You're cute, but not that cute. Huh? Uh, no, I mean, for real. <laughs> like, um, and he, like, looks around. Is there anyone else besides her and him? No, in it's the just shop. it's just her like reading the comic book. Okay, um, he's going to then uh, look over and see what the comic book is. See what the main character looks like. Um, it is a Constantine comic. She's reading Constantine. By oh God, DC. that's terrifying. I don't necessarily want to bring <laughs> anything to life from the Constantine. <laughs> So um, uh, yeah. he's gonna try a spell to mm -hmm. animate uh, the main animate Constantine off of the page and get him to like move around a little bit before laying back down. Okay. So uh, she is. You see that like as she kind of like put the comic down, she left it open, 
um, and you see that there's this, this huge splash page of uh, Constantine being like pushed through a window and he's falling like this. Um, with like the, it, it looks like the his red tie is kind of like whipping in the wind and his coattails are flying up the side here and it looks like he's falling a great height out of a out of a out of a shattered window. Um, okay. Go ahead and roll to use magic. Ten. Ten. Fantastic. Yeah. So you kind of like swish and flick and touch the uh, tip of your wand to the page. And it starts moving, um, like uh, like one of the Harry Potter uh, moving photographs. So okay. you see, like the the tie, like wisp in the wind in slow motion. The hair starts to like kind of move around, and uh, and the coattails just whip in the wind uh, as he slowly like moves further away. All right, can and I make him say something to her? Sure. What he's what is that? He's like, <laughs> you can trust him. <laughs> Okay. Or like he knows what he's talking about. That's probably better. So from the page, you hear, he knows what he's talking about, love. <laughs> um, that's my 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 best Constantine impersonation. Not the Keanu Not Reeves, but the yeah. Uh, anywho, um, <clears throat> yeah. So we uh, like she sees this on the page. She drops the book and she like looks at you horrified and she just freezes she doesn't know how to handle the situation <laughs> it's 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 okay like we've heard about the stuff that's happening and maybe we can help but just so you know i'm the only one of us who can do magic i'm the only one with what, uh with the is, gift what is happening what do you like you keep saying that that, that like you, that you think that there's there's ghosts and the, what are you talking about? Ghosts aren't real. Like what? Like I don't even. What's happening? So, um, we just heard that there was weird things going on at your house, and so we wanted. Yeah, to... some creep broke in. Um, we have connections throughout the whole city that have told us that not everything is as it appears and he's like he's like shaking because now he realizes he probably shouldn't have told her and um <clears throat> so she's just kind of like um you have to go we're closed like we're, yeah, we're closed. I'm, 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 I'm locking up. Like, we're, we, you have to Listen, go. Okay, look, we can, we can help. Even if it is a creep, we can help. Uh, roll manipulate. We someone. kill a giant snake. <laughs> roll manipulate someone. That is, oh shit, a ten. Okay, hell yeah, dude. Um, okay, so on a ten plus, they'll do uh, what you ask uh, for the reason that you gave them. If you ask too much, they'll tell you the minimum it would take for them to do it, uh, or if there's no way they do it. Um, so you have provided proof, and you have like in the form of actually performing a magical act, um, and you have kind of been honest with her um, and said, "Hey, there's things going on. We've like you've been mysteriously honest with her. I'll say because like that's the angle that you're playing to flirt." Um, uh, so she is going to just kind of like, um, okay, so you listen, if you can just convince your parents to leave the house like this Friday night, convince them to go on a date night. We can come in, do a quick investigation. If something's there, we can get rid of it. If it was some creep, then maybe, you know, we can help figure out who it was with our uh, super uh, abilities. Shit. Okay. 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 Shit. Okay. Um... Okay, so 
my mom and my stepdad, I think... I think I can get them out of the house and like tell them to like go on a go on a date or something. Um, they always like to to go ice skating um, at the quarry, so I think I, I can kind of like say, "Hey, you guys have been shaken up um, by this whole situation. I'll be fine here. I've got all the doors locked. The alarm is set. All that stuff." And <sighs> okay, okay, yeah, I can I can get them out of the house and and um, if you can. If you can make the the house feel safe again, then then yeah, sure. We're on it. And he turns and walks out. Cape Swish walk away. Yep. And he looks at all the guys and he's like, uh, "I got us in." Oh, puppy. Hi, Gypsy. But did you get the date? I got us in to take care of the stuff. It doesn't matter if I got the date. He didn't even ask her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you were in there like for three seconds, man. So when um, Leon came out, I was hugging Gabe, but like yeah. in a little bit too long of an embrace. So it's kind of <laughs> awkward. Like it's like, it's okay, man. Like, like my patting hands him. Down to my sides. <laughs> like I'm patting him and then I'm just like. Half <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we got puppy cam. Oh yeah, uh, the, like okay. The longest amount of time this just, dog is. She's got to make a hundred circles. A hundred um, circles, seventy biscuits. You know the, the routine. Everybody loves a good white dog with crusty eyes. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's and cool. she's down. Cool. <laughs> oh wait, no, she's still scooting around. <laughs> still scooting. There we go. There she's is. down. Now she's down. Oh. Yeah, Bright Brighton looks at Leon like. Yeah, all right. Good, good job, I guess. Right I do what I do. I know I how to talk to. Out. But yeah. you didn't. <laughs> but you had to use your magic. You didn't just talk to her. I didn't use magic. That and would be irresponsible it, to use it, magic in front of someone who doesn't know our secrets. Don't so you how'd think? You get her to, how'd you get her to set, let us come in? Yeah, Brighton gives uh, you this look of like, I know you're you're BSing. We, I convinced her that uh, like we could do a party thing at her house if her parents were gone so, this weekend. So we're having a party this weekend. No, we're ghost hunting. She just thinks it's gonna be a party, kind of. You know what? It's fine. We'll just get there. And... So we're gonna go and ghost hunt in front of somebody that doesn't know about our secrets. You guys, but you, you did it from inside some magic? behind the the pane glass window. I can still hear you. <laughs> You're six feet away from me. Gabe calls out really not. loud. Gabe, Gabe calls out really loud. Did he use magic? Yeah, he told me a whole bunch of stuff. Like, yeah, weird Jane. stuff. Hey, come on. Shame. Whatever. I got, I got us in. All right, let's go. And he, like, turns and walks away and then remembers that he didn't drive because he doesn't have a car, so he comes back and, like, fidgets with the handle, but it's still locked. And he's like, can we go? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so... The car is so old that I have to get into the driver's side and then, like, go over and unlock it from the inside, you know? And we do that thing where I'm, like, pulling at the same time <laughs> you're trying to lift up and we're just getting more angry with each other. Savannah's Jeep does that now. I was about to I was going to say, real fun fact, I have a 2014 that I have to unlock manually myself. Yeah. 2010, yeah. every door. <laughs> yep. Did you roll down, too? Did you roll down windows? Yeah. 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 yeah no oh, way. yeah. Well, you'll love to see it. <laughs> All right. So um, where are you guys heading now that you have this plan set for tomorrow night? Where are you guys heading um, now? I'm going to ask Bobby to drop me off at my grandma's house. Okay. Um, Brighton, you had something to say? Yeah, uh, Brighton's like, I'm, I'm gonna get my mom to come pick me up. You guys can just go. And then okay. he, uh, he, like, pulls out his phone and you see him, like, he, well, he pulls out his phone and he holds it up to his, his head. Okay. And then, like, he's, like, trying to pretend that he's talking in the phone. Oh, okay. So, um, let me see... Uh, bu, 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 bu. 
Okay, so you're trying to say, like, you guys just go ahead, um, no worries, I, I, I'm gonna have my mom pick me up, and then you turn with your phone to your face. Go ahead and roll manipulate someone, and this is gonna be, like, a manipulate someone over the group, uh, cause oh, we have for oh. another hunter. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use a luck point on that. Use a luck point, okay. Um, excellent. So... Yeah, if you guys all get in the car and go away like he has asked you to, you all mark one experience. I'm getting in the car. I don't give a shit with you. Uh, Gabe don't give a shit what he's doing. I gotta go read Revelations to prepare. <laughs> 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 then, uh, oh, my homie. Leon's gonna be like, you, you alright, man? To Brighton? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Bye. Like, go away. <laughs> okay. And he, Pretty like... sure I know where this is going, and I love it. Okay, so uh, he learned, he turns to leave, too. Okay, so everybody piles into the car, and um, Bobby uh, starts off in the direction of uh, Gabriel's grandmother's house. Um, so Brighton goes back up to the window, mm -hmm. and he like he, like, knocks on the window. And it, like you, you, you hear like poom 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 on the glass, and then she, uh, like Sarah at the counter, she goes, <sighs> and then she comes over with like a like a, a a a rag or a paper towel. She opens the door and she wipes where your knuckles touched the uh, the glass. She's like, I have to clean these windows. Uh, sorry, I did, I didn't I didn't mean to, and I'm. And I'm definitely yeah. sorry for my friend. He, he does magical things and scares people. There's this whole time where on, on Halloween, like we went into like a magical universe. It was really bizarre. But I just want to apologize for that because I know it's kind of scary. Well, um, I appreciate it. But and I, and I know uh... it's also kind of scary what your guys are going through right now. Because I overheard your your mom talking to to, to uh, Miss Schultz about what's going on, mm -hmm. and you know it's it's scary when things like that happen, and and that's what we're trying to do is help you out. So again, I'm super duper sorry if we freaked you out. I appreciate that, and it's wait, hang on, I know this one, I know Braxton. No, no. Brighton. That's, yeah, that's, that's me, yeah. And um, while I'm here, because um, my mom's coming, she's, well, I'm going to call her, but she also would probably want the side of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Come on in. And then uh, she's going to go back behind the counter and get the, uh, the like, do you want, like, a whole... Sl uh, slab of bacon, or do you want it to like her to slice it? The the slice it. Okay, so she's gonna get this like slab of bacon and then put it onto the slicer, and she's like, okay, um, like how thick do you want it? And uh, she's she's gonna ask yeah, you yeah, all about it, it and is, just like to slice up the the bacon and stuff. It's and, it's basically yeah. idle chatter at this point. Yeah, it's yeah. just, just um, yeah, it and then like Constantine. Yeah, all right, that's cool. Do me a favor and yeah. roll, act under pressure. Just because you're holding a conversation with a girl, um, and you're in junior right. high. I've read about this sort of thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Mad Men. I know how did this go. Um, I got a Oh 12. my god, Mad Men is the worst <laughs> example. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> that's a that's a community joke for all those who who <laughs> it's a deep cut community joke for all those who watch that show. <laughs> 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 so what'd you get i got a 12 you got a 12 sick all right so yeah dude i uh, you are more well-spoken and suave than you have ever been with anyone you it's it's not even like you're talking to a girl it's that you're having a very interesting conversation with a fellow human being and that's lovely and then yeah then 
Brighton's mom pulls up. Oh, uh, you know, there, there she is. Um, I'm gonna go. I guess if we're gonna hang out later. I guess. I uh, yeah. You, you, your friend said that uh, that you guys were gonna come by tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So yeah, cool. tomorrow night. Um, I'll I'll here. Give me your give me your phone. Okay. And she's gonna like put her number into your phone, and she's going to text herself. Uh, so that she has your number as well and hand it back to you and she is going to say um okay so um i will give you a text when um when i finally do get them out of the house uh and they should be gone for like four hours at least cool and then to completely kind of almost undercut the whole situation he goes leon didn't think of that and then he put it put, put oh. it in his... <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she just kind of laughs and she goes no no he didn't <laughs> and she goes back to like reading her her book she like wipes down the the slicer and everything and then she like and then, to and, and, and then as he as he's leaving he tur he turns like opens the door turns and he turns back and goes swap thing neil gaiman you'll like it or Ellen Moore, Ellen Moore Swamp Thing. You'll like it. I'll grab that one next. Thanks. Yep. And then we leave. Yeah. Cool. Um. So you open up the the back door to your mom's Honda Odyssey and hop in to one of the captain's chairs and just and yeah and she pulls away and Got that's the, the end of the scene. <laughs> 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 um. Okay, so right on. Excellent. Uh love that. Absolutely love that. Uh so um we're going to pick up again the next day. Um or does anyone have anything that they would like to do um separately at home during the the uh, afternoon into the night? Uh I'm going to grab game? something from my grandma's house, but it's not going to be anything like useful. Okay. So in game, I don't know, but maybe this would be a good time to take a really quick break. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, real quick before we part ways and take our break, um, what does Gabriel grab from his grandmother's house? Can I tell you tomorrow when we all get together? Okay. Yeah. No. no like, you can, you can do, the, do the reveal. Uh, so yeah, perfect. Love that. It's just a funny little stupid thing. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, all right, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and um, take a quick break. We will be back here in like uh, ten-ish minutes, loosely. So, yeah, um, be right back.
And we're back. Let me go ahead and, uh, there we go, unmute the desktop audio. Uh, test, test. Everybody test in. Make sure that the chat can hear us. Uh, test, 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 test. Testing. All right. So desktop audio is working. Perfect. Um, all right. So uh, we have just finished up uh, at the butcher shop. We've gotten Sarah kind of um, like pulled into the fold um told her a little bit about what's going on and what you guys' theories are and we've uh, you know we uh got her to um agree to get her parents out of the house and allow you guys to come in and, and uh, come in and investigate so great job everybody um so um it is the uh next day um gabriel picked something up at his grandma's house the previous day but you guys are all meeting back up uh where would you guys uh be meeting back up back at the library or i figured we'd meet up at her house when she, after she texted us okay texted me <laughs> sorry <laughs> leon's definitely kicking himself for that one <laughs> oh i didn't explain it i didn't i didn't explain it what happened i just <laughs> Just be like no the fact just the fact that you got her number he's like shit i didn't explain it though That's yeah, he's the thing. Like, I, did, I, I did not tell anybody what had happened i just uh, <laughs> well yeah she's gonna text me when uh when she yeah. gets her parents out of the house no big deal leon yeah. gave him one of those <laughs> what i had to go in and get bacon and gabe, <laughs> gabe at this point is obviously unaffected <laughs> just skulking no he's very close to Bobby cute I go to like almost hold his hand and then like I back away I don't get the courage <laughs> so we just like you guys are standing next to each other and we just see one little like pinky wiggle in his direction <laughs> and then nothing alright uh, <laughs> perfect so um yeah you guys uh you guys are all like uh separate and uh brighton is going to send out a text message once she texts him good to go is there anything for the like before you guys meet up that you would like to do that i just want to put it out there uh any any solo uh little like mini missions you guys wanted to go on i play at the arcade oh, okay <laughs> you're just trying to uh, like... Leon. i'm trying to decompress man yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Leon grabs some hot and readies at the uh, the, the little, little Caesars. Caesars. <laughs> um, maybe if there's not a ghost, we can just have an awesome pizza time. <laughs> I love you so much, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Leon using the phrase "an awesome pizza time." <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I mean, the door and it's like, what is this? It can't hunt ghosts on an empty stomach. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> ghosts feed on your discomfort, don't you know that? Let's go ahead and uh, either option A, we can eat pizza and make ourselves safe because we won't be hungry, or B, we can eat ourselves stupid and uh, just be di uncomfortable and draw it out. He says the uncomfortable. He says the weird thing his dad always says when he brings in the pizzas. I brought this up. <laughs> He's always hated it when his dad did it, but when he saw her, it was the first thing that came out of his mouth. I brought this up. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm becoming my father. It's like the first time he has to encounter that like terrifying mm -hmm. thought. Okay. Absolutely love it. Uh, so you guys make your way over there. If there's nobody else that wants to like do something before, you guys make your way over there. I she mean, sent out. The, go ahead. Yeah. I, oh. I, I I dress up a little bit, but not <laughs> too like I'm like not like I'm impressing anybody. Business but, casual. But it's clearly it, for every for the the other four people, they can tell that he's made himself look a bit more presentable. Uh huh. It's Connecticut casual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you put on your church jeans. Yeah, <laughs> on a church, Brighton. Uh, it's just, it's just the, the the type of jeans. It's the nice ones. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm asking. Oh, okay. It, it's 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 for the ghost hunting. You know, you gotta you gotta have you know limber pants. 
These ones have a la- like they have elastic <laughs> like woven into the cotton for the for the for the denim. So like I, I got yeah, yeah. I got and, and, and full like range of movement. The knees aren't busted out, you know, <laughs> and so because you got to be able to be like if something's chasing you, you got to like be able to stretch. You know, <laughs> Gabe is wearing black skinny jeans with like ripped knees. Uh huh. And like, just really uh, punk rocked it up. Uh, yeah, just, like, a drop kick, a drop kick Murphy T-shirt that he found. Has he ever <laughs> listened? Too, that's too big. Okay. Has he ever listened to the drop kick Murphys? He has, but he has no idea what they're saying. They talk too fast and too loud. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's but awesome. his favorite. His favorite is song. I've never listened to Drop Kick Murphy, so I should probably think of a song, huh? You can continue. I'll tell you my song is in a minute. Yeah, okay. Um, anybody else got something that you wanted to 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 like um, to to do at, on the way over there? Or go ahead. I have whittled a cool thunderbird into my gun that I have, oh, like into so the handle. Into the like, okay, because it's a it's a uh, like a snub nose revolver with a wooden handle. So yeah, you you've kind of like did some like like uh, wi- like wood burning or. or Something like that? Yeah, like something like that. Like cool. something really crafty that I can't do in real life. And then That's, sick. Um, that's I'm my favorite. Gonna Fan- be fantasy crafts. Love it. Right? Fantasy crafts. That's that's how <laughs> I, I have to live through my <laughs> Monster of the Week character. <laughs> I'm also dressed as a jean daddy, you know? So I have like big old like mom jeans, yeah. you know? And then I have like, you know how sometimes like people have the jean jacket, but I have that like wrapped over my waist. And then I have like a white t shirt. And then I like slick my hair back. You're okay, Kevin so... Bacon from Tremors. Yeah, or basically <laughs> like Crybaby. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. My so the, the song that he listened look. to. The song that he listened to. Yeah. It smash shit up. Okay. <laughs> smash shit up. That's that's his favorite song from Dropkick Murphys. Oh yeah. Yep. Sick. He loves how he loves how they just uh. Smash shit up. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, let's see here. And he's totally not trying to impress anybody. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. Why would he? <laughs> um, and you got it playing on the iPod on the way over there, yep. and, and 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 it's just like, but it's it's the one song, but it's on re- like it's repeating. Yep. Yep. And I'm like, you um, know, they have other songs, right? <laughs> it's my favorite. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. I forgot that I put a little bit of mustache wax just <laughs> on the two bits. Just on like the two little bits, dude. Like they're only like right here. Yeah, just like the bits. little bit of like like beeswax. You look kind of like <laughs> Billy from Stranger Things t- uh, season two. Like that's what I'm picturing yeah. right now. So like, what I do is like I make it just grow really really long because I don't uh-huh. have volume yet. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So we're all in the car together, so, right? You, okay, like your mustache is the equivalent of the top of my head. So, uh, yeah. So, what I, what I envision for us to do while we're waiting for the text is we're just cruising. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, we're all just like rolling around, just circling the block. <laughs> over and over we're cruising. Again. We went to the little, we went to the little Caesars. We went to the little Caesars to go get the za, and then. <laughs> One box is already eaten, by the way. We ate it. Yeah. Got it. Y'all picked up three pizzas. One was car pizza. We knew this all getting into the car. Like, we knew this going into it. And so, as we're driving around, I'm in shotgun, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. And, and so, I was, I was looking at everybody. I'm like, guys, I couldn't find a crucifix, but I found this. And I pull out, like, you know those old candles, like the religious candles yes. that have like the Jesus portrait on it? Yes. I found I pull out one of those, all the fucking wax is gone. <laughs> so that has no so you, sense. You, you, you just candles. have like You got a Catholic grandma with Saint candles. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and then and then he pulls out the bead necklace thing. The rosary. Oh, oh rosary, yeah. that's got a cross on it. You're good. Yeah. I pull I found these guys. I don't know if they'll help. There should, like, a, there should be a candle in there, but there's not. Now you just have a, a highball glass with Jesus on it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool, isn't it? Of course, like, Brighton knows what a highball glass is. <laughs> Yo, Gabe, don't forget to uh, fill my gun with salt. It's in the glove compartment. 
Just pour the salt into so the, the I take the gun. I take the gun. I take the gun. I flip it upside down. And you know where the bullet comes out of? I take a salt shaker no. and just start shaking salt into oh. it. <laughs> <sighs> that's an that's an idea. That is an idea, guys. Um. Oh, and man. I don't even have to shift my car because we're probably like on the highway or something like at this point. But I just have my like hand just on like the little shifter on just the gear to be shift. a little bit closer to Gabe. Like, <laughs> maybe he'll like maybe he'll graze against me. Little <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I put as I put the gun back into the container, my hand gently slides across his just oh. for a moment. <laughs> that's that's nice. This has become a yaoi adventure. <laughs> An adolescent yaoi of the week adventure. <laughs> How far will Cave <laughs> and Bobby go? <laughs> Just... This game suddenly became a Well, episodes in, in, maybe they'll get a cheek kiss. <laughs> oh, Gable kiss anybody. <laughs> I'm loving this oh, will yeah. they won't oh, they. Oh, oh, you gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right. So, uh, Brighton gets the text and he says, "Okay, now go, 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 go." So you guys pull up to the house. Um, the uh, guidance counselor, Mrs. Green, is she's already gone. Um, and uh, yeah, you pull up like right out front of the house. And what do you guys do from there? I imagine it was a loud screech because it, you know he got a downshift and <laughs> yeah you you almost take out the mailbox but you just like swerve right in time and you hit the brakes a little bit too hard <laughs> get out of the car Leon jumps out yeah. and gives the 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 saw lines <laughs> we got have... the saw I have my I have my iPod. <laughs> Uh-huh. Still playing Smash Shit Up. Okay. All right. Walking up to the front door. Oh my god. Oh, okay. you have to turn that off. You have to turn that off. 17 times is enough. No, we gotta <laughs> smash shit up. No, so... we gotta exercise shit up. Like. Dang. So it'll skip to the next Dropkick Murphy song and be upset because he doesn't know it. <laughs> 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 he, bought their whole, like... he bought their whole discography. Oh god, not even like the greatest hits. Nope, the whole, Just whole thing. discography. Got it. So now it's um... on like the 2012 <laughs> stuff that they put out. That's really even worse. Oh no. I put the gun that I had like into my pants and like a little bit of salt goes down, you know? Oh, it's a little so uncomfortable. you just got like sand in your crack? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. All right. So, um, perfect. So, yeah. No, you guys, um, you guys, uh, knock on the door. I'll just kind of like stand in there, uh, like Gabe looking kind of moody, uh, Brighton looking just like looking happy as always. I um, kind of picture it as like a, one of those Avengers team shots as we're pulling up, and I'm like yeah. juggling the pizza. Yeah, but like the, and moody. the dorkiest Avengers that you've ever seen. <laughs> like you got one dude that's just is like holding pizza, leaning like... up against the. <laughs> Brighton's like can't figure out if he wants to put his arm on the wall. <laughs> I'm holding like... a fucking frying pan. Like <laughs> 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 he goes to put his ar his like arm up on the wall, but he misses and stumbles, and he's like, oh. Yeah. Right, anyway, see me um, walking funny behind them because I got the salt and I have yeah, the cat just... head in the weird jar. <laughs> As you walk, it's just pieces of salt just rubbing between your cheeks. You're just like, <laughs> Kyle's the only normal one of the bunch who's just like, <laughs> I bought my collar. I'm a priest now. I'm in full priest regalia. <laughs> He's gonna look black the... man, black shirt, white collar. I've got the Bible. Gabriel's not a religious man. The boys of time, but I got Harry um... Potter. He looks at Kyle and Black says, shoes, black pants, black shirt, white collar, Cadillac, like the boys in time bomb. He, lo he looks at Kyle and says, he says, what's up, Daddy Keith? Bless you, my child. <laughs> and he couldn't even get, like, a white piece of cloth. It's like he tore uh, some paper out of his notebook and stuff. <laughs> and the blue lines the, 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 the faint blue lines. Love that. <laughs> 
I'm still oh waiting my on my God. official one. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay, so you guys knock on the door, Sarah answers, and she like looks at you guys. <laughs> And you guys see that she's just wearing like, like she's wearing her her normal clothes. She's like got like a like a long sleeve t shirt that's got like the black and red, uh, like rings down her arm like the stripes. And then on top of that, she's got a black keys, uh, t shirt or a black flag t shirt. Um, like your like your shirt. Thanks. Come in. Come in. Uh, I didn't know you listened to Dropkick Murphys. Uh. Yeah, my, Gangs my, All Here is my favorite album, actually. So, what, what was anyway. that? Gangs All Here is my favorite album. Um, any, Mine anyway, too. really, what's your what's your favorite track? Really, because we just all we did was listen to the, the mess shit up, like bust shit up or whatever it was. The it's whole mess, here. seventeen mess times, shit up. seventeen times we heard it. You want pizza? We got pizza. I, I'm I'm not really hungry. I'm just kind of um. We'll, we'll talk. We'll worried. talk semantics about our about music taste later. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have a ghost to kill. So yeah, you guys I don't know why I brought in. pizza. Um, stupid. I told him not to. We can't hunt ghosts on an empty stomach. Okay. You didn't eat before you came. No, I was gonna bring pizza. Did everybody else eat? I ate. I ate pizza, I ate pizza in the car with you. Yeah, Leon. Yeah, I mean that was just pre-pizza. <laughs> Like, this is the real place. I don't need more pizza. We already ate a full pizza. Yeah, that was Guys. only like two slices. Of Anyways, I'm sorry. We're, we're getting distracted. Um, we got sausage left and some cheese. <laughs> uh, and she's going to turn to Brighton because he's the only one who's had like an actual conversation with her. And she's going to say, okay, so here's, here's, here's what's happening. Um... Um, there have been, um, like, just a couple of different things that have really been weird. Like, I always feel like I'm being watched, and I feel like, um, my, like my mom saw, like, uh, she went to go take a shower, and she saw, like, writing in the steam on the mirror, and, and that was really weird, so. What did it say? Yeah. What, what, it, hold on. Um. You gotta, we didn't get drinks. Can I have, like, a, do you have, like, a soda or something? I told you buy soda. Kitchen's that. Ah. What what did the what did it say though? It just said watching. Um it said the word watching across the, the Oof. All right. Anybody Which else get is... chills? That was creepy, right? It's, yeah, it's it's really creepy. Um so yeah, um, if you guys want to go ahead and, and and try, like, investigating or whatever you do, then go for it. Like, I'm, I don't I don't really know what you want me to do. You tell me. Listen. All right. I think we should have a team basement and a team attic, and we start at both ends and then meet in the middle. And I think, personally, that we were the ones entrusted with this and that Sarah doesn't need to be involved and get hurt. Wait, you think I I could I could get hurt? You think that? Uh, um, I mean, like, I, giants, yesterday morning fought, I didn't even believe in ghosts. Like I didn't listen, know that like there was magic. I'm freaking out. Okay. We fought a giant snake the other day and almost I almost died. Yeah, he was the only one who almost <sighs> died. The rest of us handled it pretty well. So, here's what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> and and he just kind of like. Brushes those two off, and he's just a okay. fucking dick. <laughs> Here, here's what you can do. Yes, we brought pizza. You can enjoy some. <laughs> just a little and wave for pizza. That's good. <laughs> and, then, and just rela and relax down here, because that's what we're here for is to help out. You're just gonna be here to make sure that if your parents show back up, you can run interference. We're, we're carpet okay. cleaners, if they ask. Okay. We're 13. Tell them we're carpet cleaners. Just tell them we're having a party. That's it. And okay. then, and then, um, but upstairs was the bathroom? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Don't worry. I'll uh, look into this. And then, you know, he just casually walks upstairs. 
He's um, the one that ran away from the giant snake, by the way. I was gonna run it over with the car. <laughs> I mean, he did, he did have that shotgun, shotgun though. It was kind of badass. Um, Stole a cop's gun. Be Brighton, uh, because you are, um, like this close of proximity and and she's like just kind of wearing, wearing her like general t-shirt uh do me a favor and general roll... t-shirt no she's just wearing a regular t-shirt not like jesus okay <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the episode guys have a great night thank you for coming <laughs> to... um... we're all fired now all right <laughs> <laughs> a meteor hits the house you, you happy now um <laughs> Now you gotta like fight to aliens. To stop the meteor. <laughs> so, um, Brighton, do me a solid and roll uh, investigate a mystery. That is a 13. 13. Thank you so very much. Um, where is. There we go. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, so, a 13. Um, go ahead, and you get to hold two of those questions uh, from the Investigate a Mystery table. Um, what is being concealed here? Um, <clears throat> something that is being concealed just in this scene so far um, is that... Um, you see um a kind of a gold chain tucked underneath the the shirt uh and then you see kind of like through the shirt kind of uh, you see a um uh the little like outline of a of a cross like it, it looks like a gold chain and a little like gold cross necklace that is being concealed because it's it's underneath her shirt and she doesn't really use it like okay to get out there and uh just in general what happened here Okay, so um, from kind of surveying the area and and seeing like, um, like uh, seeing all the different like details that have been spoken to you, you can uh like kind of observe and and like view the area and see that um, uh, that everything looks, generally speaking, normal. Um, so the way that she seems is she seems shaken up but with that role um she is like less nervous than you would expect for someone who has been haunted and is fully convinced now that there is a haunting happening she seems nervous for like a different reason okay so if we're dealing with a ghost um, you may want to take that cross out. I'm just saying. Me? Uh, no. Well, yeah, but and then and then yeah, you. I, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to leer or anything, but I just happened to notice. Just it's. it's I'm very yeah. perceptive that way. Yeah. Um. Okay, so she's gonna like take it out, and you see that like the chain is gold, but um the. Um, the cross it, like itself looks kind of more of like a like a tarnished gold. There is um. Do you always have that? It. Um. Yeah. Uh, my grandma gave it to my mom, and my my mom gave it to me. Um. I'm not any, like religious any... or anything, but it's just sentimental for your grandma. Yeah, she she died like a, a year or two ago. So. So. If she died, so she died, and then you got that. Was was she? Was your grandma really nice? Yeah, she was yeah. the only person who like. She didn't get me because nobody gets me, but. She's the only one who I, didn't care. I understand, like, I understand that. Nobody it's gets like, me either. That's like me and Miss Schultz. She understands me. Miss Schultz is his girlfriend. The librarian. Yeah. <laughs> she, no. Right? That's what I'm saying. They she, had after she, school together every day. No, gross that you would suggest it. It's not gross. <laughs> he, he wants to kiss her. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> so uh, she's just gonna kind of like turn away like that's weird um yeah. that's what i'm saying <laughs> um, <laughs> just try, keep trying to flip it <laughs> well, yeah, just, um, eventually with, with that'll that, stick just keep trying the same thing exactly. like <laughs> with that um brighton goes over to um the the tv yeah and he's like i'm gonna kind of i'm sorry but i'm gonna kind of wreck this a little bit i gotta get um, in the back wait uh what do you mean wreck it are you gonna break anything or no no it's, i'm gonna have to move stuff oh uh, okay like, yeah no go ahead that's fine this um, is a piece of old technology it's called vcr I'm i know what a vcr up. is Brighton. <laughs> Oh, and sorry. um she like like she's also gonna look over at at uh at Bobby and Leon that are just kind of both standing there and just be like you guys are being really quiet sit down if you want like or like you know, uh, we yeah. gotta we gotta get searching so we were just waiting to see what uh what uh Brighton was doing so you know we didn't do the same thing you know don't wanna waste time okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, do I see so... any? Um, do I see any crucifixes on the wall by chance? Um, just looking around this room, no. So I would like to. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Were you done, friendly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would like to go up to the bathroom in which the message appeared in. Okay, that would be the master bathroom. So you head over the stairs, you go him. into the the master. You, both of you go into the master bathroom, and um, what do you do? So I want to uh, look around in there, and I'm going to actually. There's a roll that I can do with use magic. That is observe another place or time so i would like to try and see if i could hone in on the time where the message appeared and like review it magically okay awesome so that is going to be holy crap okay so that is a 14 my friend wow okay so six th- like- five and a plus three you walk into this bathroom with gabriel and you guys are both standing there and you kind of like elbow him and say Check this out. And you focus really hard. And then, uh, Gabriel, in front of you, you see this kind of, like, rippling effect just in the middle distance between your your eyes and the wall. And it just seems like everything kind of goes watercolor for a moment. Okay. And then it clears up, and you see um, just the, the same mirror through this, this veil, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and... You see the the mirror is covered in fog and steam, um, and then just in the in the mirror, it just nothingness, just writes like just scrawling across the mirror in, in the steam is the word watching. No, you could have just turned on the faucet. <laughs> and then Probably the some... vision dissipates well crap what was i that? was hoping we get to see what it was oh that was I, I looked at the past when the message was written i'm holding my frying pan really tight right now okay <laughs> so well um time to check the the, the, the dark and creepy places um, as you say that, uh, the lights in this bathroom turn off. Is that dark and oh. creepy enough for you? <laughs> All right, man. Then turn them back on. I didn't. I, I, I didn't. didn't. I, I'll go try to flip it back on. Wait. You go flip the light back on? I'm going to try to, yeah. Okay, so you flip the switch down. Because it was in the on position, and then you flip right. it back up. The lights come up, and in the mirror, you see this just faceless, screaming, like, gangly white form. And it just in the mirror, and you hear it scream. 
I scream at the same register. <laughs> so, wait, uh, Bobby, are you in that bathroom as well? I assume that I'm everywhere that Gabe is. Sorry. Oh, okay, uh, fair, sorry. Enough. fair enough. That's that's good to know. Uh, so the three um, of you have gone up to this bathroom, and uh, it ah, it screams. And I like that Discord cut out your voice. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nice. I heard the, the opening. <laughs> <and Yeah>. then... <laughs> okay. Um. So, can I swing my frying pan at it? Um. So you see it in the mirror, but you don't see it in the room with you. Uh, do, are you swinging right at me. the mirror, or are you swinging in the area that it is next to you? I just assumed that like it was like right in front of me if it was in the mirror. Okay. So. Because the, the way that you guys are set up, you guys are, all three of you are standing, um, looking at the mirror, and uh -huh. between you and Brighton is where mm -hmm. this thing appeared, standing, standing between the two of you, and it, it, it like, screams, <laughs> and you see its reflection. Okay. I'm gonna say, I don't want to swing, because then I'll hit Brighton. Or not Brighton, uh, Leon. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Leon. Fuck it, I'm, sw I'm swinging. Okay, so you're just gonna like take a wild swing to the side here. Yeah, like Rota kicks mass. Uh, that is a ten. Ten. Okay, full success. Yep. Right on, dude. Um, so you get to choose. Uh, you do. Uh, your one damage to it from the the iron passing through it. Um, and you also get to um. You also get to choose an extra effect from. Uh, you get to take one forward or give one plus one to another person in this scene. Um, you get to inflict terrible harm. You get to suffer less harm, or uh, you get to force them where you want them. I want to force them where I want them. Okay, where are you trying to force this ghost? Right in front of us. You're trying to force it in front of you. Okay, so you yeah, so you have your your frying pan at your side, and you take a swipe forward to pull it in in front of you, and. As you swipe through, you mm -hmm. see this thing shriek and twist and contort and then whoosh. disappear. Yeah, it just Fuck. like like steam. It it just whoosh, gone. Iron works. Iron does indeed work. Did I take a damage there? Uh, yes, you, you took one damage from the uh, Screech. So did the other two of you, Bobby and Leon. Take one okay. damage because of the... Ah. I have more than Dude. just salt in my pants. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I hit it. You see that? That was cool, wasn't it? Oh my god. And he like collapses onto the ground and was like... I was not ready for that. Um, downstairs, uh, you guys hear uh, a scream, a second scream that sounds almost identical, and uh, then Sarah just kind of looks to the stairs and runs upstairs. Okay, I'm going yeah, to try to rush run. down there to them. Okay, so you guys meet kind of on the, uh, on the top of the stairwell, and she asks, what, what, the, what the hell just happened? It's the ghost fucking go! Oh, I used a run up on accident. Uh, there it is. Uh, what would you time. like to change about this scene? Um, just between me and Sarah. I uh, this whole thing of uh, the ghost has just dissipated. You guys are are rejoining as a split party. What would you like to change about everyone meeting on the stairs? Can I save it for later? Yeah, you can hold it. Save it for later. Absolutely hold it. Uh, you can cash that in in a moment. Um, okay, cool. So uh, you say, let's go. And then you guys all head down the stairs. And uh, <laughs> Kyle was like, nope. No, uh, where, where does, where does, like, everybody else heads down the stairs. But what is Kyle doing? Kyle has been reciting the Lord's Prayer in every room <laughs> of this house to try to banish the evil. Okay. Well, I'm renting the door frames. With with vegetable oil. <laughs> Whilst in the basement, Kyle hears your screaming, and as he tries to get up to the top at his own speed, he trips on a stair case and says, "Oops." 
Okay, so uh, Savannah is activating her uh, mundane move, oops, and uh, that means that uh, she gets to stumble across something important. Um, so she said, oops, and uh, now she gets to find something important and useful, although not necessarily related to the immediate problems. Um, so, um, let's say, like, let's say you were, um, heading up the stairs and like up the basement stairs because you heard the yeah. scream. And as you were making your way over to the basement stairs, uh, you tripped over a large sack of rock salt that was waiting to be carried upstairs so they could defrost or, uh, so they could de-ice the driveway. So you've got... A huge thing of rock salt there. I said, "Oh, I've seen Hocus Pocus. I'm gonna need some salt." <laughs> okay, done. All right, so you just kind of like fill your pockets with handfuls of salt, or do you take the whole thing? Right I will carry it. You know that okay. I do strength training. Okay, three so, times a week. Yeah, you just kind of like hoist it up above your head, rest it on your shoulders, and muscle it up the stairs. Like Rocky running with the yeah, with a log. You gotta keep your yeah. knees high. Keep your knees high. Um, mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. So um, the rest of you head down the stairs and uh, Brighton comes up the basement stairs and uh, up into the living room again. Um, and you guys kind of meet there and Brighton in a uh, full priest regalia has a thick sack Kyle. of rock salt. Kyle. What? Kyle. You keep calling me Brighton. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. I So sorry. Um, so Kyle. Comes up the stairs in full priest regalia and has this sack of rock salt on his shoulders. Thank you. I knew you'd find something. Blessed, child. <laughs> Blessed. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it weird how uh, forgive me, Father, I have sinned is uh, functionally the same sentence as uh, forgive me, Daddy, I've been bad? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Gabe says thank you, Daddy... Bobby kind of blushes. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Um, it's unlocked something in him. I'm he just didn't know he had. Brighton's heard the screams and it kind of just like, because he's behind like plugging everything in and 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 uh, and he heard it and everybody kind of, but but before he could like move, everybody's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he, um, now that and you've so, gotten things set up. You see distortion on the TV. You see. Oh yes, the frying pan works, Brighton. Good. We saw and it. Then... <laughs> All right. And then, but then he he turns uh, turns back to Sarah and goes, "So, like your grandma, did did she live here too?" Uh, yeah. Um, she, she used to live here, um, and, and she used to live with us, and now, well, she doesn't, so, what, what are you, what are yeah. you talking about? Why? Well, this is just me thinking, and, um, you think, like, and, and, and like, he gets kind of, like, he, you can tell he's, like, super, he's getting kind of, he's, like, blushing now, and he's just kind of, like, um, well, my thinking is is that your mom might be doing something that she's not supposed to, or maybe your stepdad, and your grandma is trying to protect you from them, so she's here. Are they? They're not being mean to you or any any way, are they? Or what? No. no I mean, Gary's kind of a dick sometimes, but he's my stepdad. But so like whatever. It's not like he like hits me or anything like that. Okay. Well, he doesn't do that to your mom. No, no. He's okay. generally speaking a sweet guy, and that's what's the most this annoying is, about him. Okay, this okay, is a okay. safe place. Where's your grandma okay. buried? Um. Well, she, uh, she's in uh. Hmm. She's. I. I don't want to answer that question. That. I, that made me uncomfortable. <laughs> Was your grandmother administered last rites? <laughs> your grandma haunting us is making me a little uncomfortable. So. Um, 
No, yeah. okay, so wait, 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 wait. You guys, you guys think this is my grandma doing this? Yes. When did you have you prayed for your grandma's soul, or is she trapped in purgatory yeah. because yeah. your Protestant sins have kept her there? Oh my god. <laughs> and Brighton, Brighton is now mortified. He goes, "That's that was my idea, but again, I'm sorry for for suggesting it, but I think I think it's your grandma." I'm with you, Brighton. I mean, and, and he looks at genuinely shocked at that. Your grandma's like, in purgatory, dude. I've seen enough supernatural to know that we need to burn that necklace. No, no, I don't think it's so. Um, guys, guys, can we chill? I can probably the just necklace. cast. I can Three. probably just cast the banishment spell so that the goat can't come here anymore. All right, then do it. Her soul's trapped. We have to pray. <laughs> Situation solved by a prayer. Um, Gabe grabs the Bobby's distortion hand. on the TV gets worse. Gabe grabs Bobby's hand and begins to pray. Okay. A little shiver oh. goes up my spine. <laughs> 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 um, we haven't seen a romance this uh, this heated since uh, Pride and Prejudice. There's so um, much tension. Yeah, there's so much it's tension. Still a better you guys love just story like, than Twilight. <laughs> the anticipation. Yeah. Uh, so as you guys are all like, kind of throwing out these accusations and and kind of like spitballing ideas, the TV distortion gets, uh, gets way worse, and the lights in the room start to flicker, and uh, suddenly everything poof, shuts down. I pour a salt circle around us. <laughs> while, while doing the bit from Poltergeist where I'm like, Carolyn! <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, get your gun, please. Bobby, get your gun. I awkwardly try to get it out my pants and like more salt comes out of it. <laughs> Alright, um... Can so... I try to cast that banishment spell? Yeah, you can mo uh, most certainly try. Uh, this is gonna be. This isn't gonna be just use magic. It's, is it not? You can try to use magic <laughs> in order to make it easier, but, um, like, this type of thing is, is is it, you get the sense that it's it's gonna be bigger than what you're capable of handling. It's big magic. Okay. Then and, I can try some big magic. Yeah. For the context of this, um, the, for the context of this this game and this rule set, uh, big magic is anything that's um, outside of the normal spell range. So it's it's something that is going to be harder to achieve, such as banishing a spirit of some kind. Um, I mean, that's in the effects for uh, for um, use magic is banishing a spirit. Is Banish it? spirit or curse from a person, objects, or place it inhabits. Okay. All right. So let me look at the, this here. Okay. So yeah, go ahead and roll to use magic. All right, we've got a ten. A ten. Okay. Fantastic. So uh, let me see here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. sorry. All my papers are shuffled around. Um, <coughs> so, use magic, and then you chose to banish a spirit or curse from uh, a person, object, or place that inhabits. So, what are you casting this banishment's aura on? Uh, on the house, in on general. House. Like, okay. Yeah, just probably he would do something exaggerated, like bring his wand down on the floor or something gotcha okay so yeah um as you raise and uh push the uh the base of your wand into the carpet to make it you know stand straight up you push it in there is this uh kind of pearlescent orb that zooms out kind of like a um like a like a halo uh bubble shield so and it kind of goes and surrounds the house and pushes outward, and the lights come back on. All right, that work. We'll send you an all? invoice. What do you say? We'll send you an invoice. 
Don't be rude. Are you paid? Huh? No. No, it was a joke. We just uh -oh. did this out of the kindness of our heart because we wanted to fix it. We're like it 14. Back. We don't have now a I business. Want to get okay, Maybe talk to um, talk to um, deputy about that. I don't like him. I'll talk to Miss Miss Schultz. Uh, Reese, talk to Reese about getting paid. I, I don't mean, like. I don't like ones. Reese. So, so Sarah's like that. That's it. That's it's done. I don't. I mean, yeah. Didn't you see that? Like I. Yeah, I mean, I saw it. It was thing. it was cool, but like, I don't know. Like, oh, yeah. it's, it seems it seems too easy. I'm going mean, to read I a bad situation. Them. Hmm? I say Kyle's going to read a bad situation. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and read a bad situation. I'm going to start reading Revelations and see if anything happens. <laughs> you just start uh, reading Revelations out loud? Yeah, 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 yeah. Revelations uh, 4. Okay. Um, Read a bad that's sharp. 6, 7, 8, 9. I get nothing. You want to do me so a favor and nine. pull up Revelations 4? And uh, give us a little ADR on that. My name is already looking through it. The only reason I know it because I was like, "What's that bit that Johnny Cash does?" <laughs> when the man comes around. He just starts singing the lyrics to the, when the man comes around. And I was like, <laughs> "Um, off after these things, I look, and behold, a door standing open in heaven." And I look around for ghosts. Um. Do you guys hear a solid thump from overhead? Ah, oh, freaking frick. I don't think it works, Leon. Uh, do you have a dog? I mean, that no. spell was pretty powerful. Did you see that? I, I was I mean, talking yeah, I like saw the whole house. I, I saw what happened, but like... I don't Magic know. Magic is a catch for religion. Hamster, maybe? Like, I think that, like, okay, okay, hear me out. This thing, like, whatever's going on, it'll happen and then it won't. It's like it goes in bursts. So maybe we just stopped that burst. But can I'm I still try to burn? Can I burn your necklace? <laughs> no. That might be the anchor. That's, that's I think that's what he's look, thinking. I, I mean, if you guys might are... be, it might be haunting you because of that necklace. Yeah, but it can haunt. Only, it can haunt a thing. Um, okay. They're only here to, to fix a problem, or they they need to figure out why. Oh, st stop it! It's stop, Brighton. You've only ever watched Hallmark movies with ghosts, okay? Like we're talking about real, like thirteen ghost ghosts, okay? So did you see um, that? <laughs> we saw it. We saw it. It was ugly. Uh, Uglier Bright than the thirteenth ghost. Yeah. Movie. Brighton at that point leaves the circle. Walks over to the pizza and just start and just eats a pizza and he just goes, "All right, you did the magic thing and there's clearly a thump upstairs. I'm gonna have this pizza and I'm gonna look and see what it was." And he goes upstairs. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you travel upstairs on your own, or does anyone else follow? Chase, I think ask. Leon would. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm a protector, so I feel like I would. Yeah, Leon would gotcha. go behind him with like his wand, like that, and he would also grab a piece of pizza and be eating it as they're going up the stairs. He has both just stress yeah. eating. <laughs> and, and, uh, Beautiful. And, and, and he turns back to him and goes, "See, you always got to copy me." And then, let's see. That's why no, you're. Just, that's why you're my apprentice. It's just, uh, man. Um, it was just a good idea, dude. Like, instead of going upstairs, you don't you hold. You don't you don't hold a patent on eating pizza. So you guys um head up to where you heard this thump, like uh, you kind of track it to this certain area of the house, and um on the door is a sign that says Sarah's room, keep out. Uh, and then all right, uh, I I walk back to the stairs don't and go. Do that noise. I go Sarah. <laughs> Um, the thump is in your room. What? Yeah, the thump was, we heard it. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, I, I heard what you said, but I, okay, um. 
we're going in, and he like with his wand. <laughs> no, he, he, Brighton stops you huh? and goes, "This isn't your room." Does Brighton go full hand on the chest, like stop, or like puts his hand in front of the door, like uh, yeah, okay, like, like stop. All right. This is, but the, the door was open. No, the door is is completely closed. It's like so the door is open, Brighton. No, it's not. And he's going to use magic to open the door. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> let me see. I'm looking at the effects of use magic. Uh, do one thing that is beyond human limitations, so yeah. turn a doorknob with your mind is, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> All right, and we got a seven. Okay, so on a seven, um, it works imperfectly. So, uh, you essentially rip the doorknob off. <laughs> there you go again, being the murder hobo that so you are. It, it, the, uh, this is uh, oh the my problematic gosh, the side ghost effect. opened the door. The ghost opened the door. It's no, broken the did. door. And Brighton just shakes it. No, you did it. You did it. You told me, and they just walked down the stairs again. You have no proof. This won't hold up in court. And I push the door open. Okay, so magic. you head inside, and um, there are two light switches by the door. One is up, and you see like the room is already lit up. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like a normal room. Um, and uh, you see, um. Like there's there's just like a closet door that is just slightly cracked, and you you see it go and slam shut. Ah, I got it! I got it! All right, is uh Gabriel yeah. and uh, Bobby still with me? Yeah, I feel like uh, yeah. I tried to load Phasmophobia once on my dad's computer, and I got like shittiest graphics. But I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it. <laughs> So I feel like I'm I'm emotionally prepared for this now. After Dope. after my big shriek, now I'm like game on. Uh, Bright, Brighton yells up the stairs. Yeah, go ahead, blow that up too. Blow up her whole room. Blow up the house. I don't care anymore. Smash shit up. <laughs> <laughs> um, please don't. My parents are gonna be home in like two hours or like a like. So please well, don't. He already my, blew up your door. A couple things. Leon, you you wrecked my door. What the hell? It was the ghost. The whole time, Leon is like reaching up towards the sliding door okay. and getting ready to open it with his wand at the ready. Okay, and Sarah is going to be charging up the stairs after you. Um, and she, uh, as you grab the door handle and push open, she is coming into her room and she says, "Stop! Wait!" And uh, you open the door and do you like turn on the closet light? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, the closet has a black light bulb. And, um, you see that there are, you know, two sides just lined with, with different clothes. There's, like, different shoes across the bottom. And at the back, there is one of those, um, metal, like, rolling, um, shelves that just have, like, different boxes and things like that on it. Uh, but because there is a, a black light, you do see very, like, faint, like, just little bits of glowing coming from behind those boxes on that shelf. All right. I, I, I reach up and I move it aside so I can see what's behind it. Okay, so you uh, kind of, like step forward into the closet you grab the side of the uh of the, the thing and you pull it open kind of like a door and mm -hmm. you see a sigil on the back of her closet uh that uh looks to be blood and it's a symbol that looks vaguely similar to the symbol that symbol that summoned andrus the destroyer the demon well, my I pull up my blade, my knife. And Are you the there? Chair. Because if, yeah, if I... Okay. So I said I went up with Bobby. Okay. And uh, me and Bobby. Okay, yeah. so the three of you are in the room, mm -hmm. and she has gone to the doorway, and she is going to just 
punch Leon in the back of the head. Um, so... Doing. Yeah, uh, Leon, you're gonna take one harm. And you're going to be, uh, dazed for a moment, just cause... Yeah. Okay. Did I get a chance to pull up my blade before she did that? Or after? No, oh, okay. yeah, if you pulled, if you pulled your, your key dagger, then you're more than welcome to, like, like, have that at the ready. Yeah, I have it at the ready, I'm just gonna look at it. What are you doing? Um... Um... Uh... I throw a Bible at her head. So you just whip this book at her head? And, mm -hmm. like... And, uh... Go ahead and roll to kick some ass. I got an eight, and then kick asses. I got a nine! Oh, hell yeah. So, um... For a nine on kick some ass, you... Um... Uh... You and it's whatever just, you're, uh, what I want. yeah, it's it, it, on a on a seven plus. You uh, inflict harm to each other. Um, so, no. yeah, yeah, I hurt my shoulder doing it because. Uh, <laughs> um, so what's gonna happen is like she, you're gonna like hit her in the chest with this book, um, and at the same time she was grabbing like a, a small like jewelry box off of her dresser and just whipping it at you so you're also going to take one harm point my sword at my blade at her okay um like, and i'm gonna i'm gonna repeat what are you doing i am also you... gonna repeat i'm gonna bring my gun out okay and i'm gonna say the typical questions from phasmophobia why are you here how old are you? <laughs> Sarah Gomez. <laughs> you know, just like random names. Okay. We know the name of the lady, right? Like, right. we know it's the grandmother. Uh, so, like, uh, Nana Riley is how she's been referred to. Um, um, so, you're just like, I, you're just I would like to go next it. after all go of ahead. that. Well, after Savannah's done with what she's doing. Aren't you doing something right now? Me? I pulled my sword out and asked what they were doing. Oh, okay, all right. I thought. And then doing. Savannah like threw uh, the Bible. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna uh, yell, "Your girlfriend's a witch!" Yeah, Bright um, Brighton yeah. walks like Brighton is now entered the room and he goes, "All right, everybody, just calm down." And sure, um, perfectly a reasonable explanation for all of this. While Brighton has everybody's attention, I'm gonna yeah. lick my hand and smear the smear the sigil. Are you, you're also in the closet because it's it's kind of a tight closet. Um, so it's it's Leon. Uh, there's the sigil. There's Leon. Then there's her, and then there is uh, you, Kyle, and Bobby standing outside of the closet. And but me, um, me and Leon, me, Leon, and Bobby came up all at the same time, and I just assumed we were all going to the same place, walking together. Right. Because uh, so I assumed that you guys like all walked into the room, but Leon mm -hmm. is the one who went into this closet. Gotcha. Okay. He's then, the one who stepped inside because there's only room for like two people to be in there at once. So he opened the door and she br she rushed past you guys like Sarah did. Then I will just approach with my blade drawn. Okay. So you're gonna step forward and and have your blade drawn, yep. yeah. and then um. I, Brighton would push his way like all the way in there to put put himself between her and everybody, and he's just like, we just got to figure out what's going on. Go look in the closet. And he like looks in there. Yeah, it's a symbol, but we got. But she may not know what she's doing. You know. I'm not gonna let you guys take her away again. See, that's what it is. She's just missing her grandma, and so that's what she probably did. She probably found some kind of ancient runes and that kind of thing, and tried to and bring back the ghost. But and he turns turns to her now and goes. But sometimes. When you do when you do things like that, you meddle in things you just don't understand. Take it from us. We fought this demon. We fought the snake. And now this ghost is terrorizing you and your family because of mistakes that you made. And now we're here to try to help fix that. And if you want to speak to your grandma, there are other ways of doing that. But this is not the way. Roll manipulate someone. Help him. Please. <laughs> I'm going to add on the dead should stay dead. 
Okay. Okay, go ahead and describe what Dead Should Stay Dead is to the audience. Oh, that's what I was, I was saying. The de- I was trying to help and say that the oh, Dead Should Stay Dead. So, okay, so <laughs> you, you I, I thought that you I had a move out. called the Dead Should Stay <laughs> no, Dead. No, no, I was no, like, no, oh, no, you're no, calling no. a shot right now? Cool. No. Um, my bad. Uh, so you kind of give her the uh, the the uh, uh, what was it? Um, Old man from Pet Cemetery. Yeah, yeah Pet Cemetery. Yeah, like, some, sometimes dead is better. I was going um, more the Dean Winchester. The dead should stay dead. Gotcha. I went with John Lithgow. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So yeah. And then um, do I roll to help him out? Yeah, go ahead and roll to help out. I rolled an eight. An eight. Okay. So for help out. Um, you expose yourself to trouble or danger, so she, um, yeah, you're, it. you, all right, here we go. So, um, I got a seven on my You got a roll. seven, so that's going to push you to an eight. Yeah. Because you get a plus one to your roll for his help out. Um, but yeah. he exposes himself to danger and you don't get moved forward to the next bracket. Um, so uh, I tried manipulate someone. You got a total of eight, correct? Uh, I got okay. So I got a because I got I got eight on the die. Uh huh. I have a negative one in my charm. So seven, and so, then plus one from so back him. Back up, back so up to back eight. to eight. Okay, cool. Um, so on a manipulate someone for a normal person, uh, you have to do something for her right now to show that you that you mean well. So the show that you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I um, I always have my books on me. So I like go go into my book. Okay. And I immediately like start flipping through, and I go to the page where Ardris is, you know, the the demon guy, yeah. and be like, right here, this is his page. This is the guy that you're you're using to use the energy from. He so- is not a good person. Okay, so you you show her this this symbol and um she um she's convinced. She's absolutely convinced. Um just like that you know what you're talking about and that she's totally screwed up. Um so she kind of goes over to uh the bottom drawer of her dresser and reaches to the underside of the drawer and pulls something free and she comes out with a a book that you recognize as a copy of the uh of the summoning book that that the um that the janitors had and she says um after the janitors left i got detention and they made me clean out the custodial office which included their desks and i found this and i was reading it and it was just something stupid and kind of a goth to, to, you know, do, but. Oh, I get it. I mean, I'm tr- I just miss know, it. I, I understand. Um, and then you kind of see him like scratch the back of his head and he goes, you know, like we all miss somebody. I mean, I miss my dad, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to use my, my, those, those abilities to bring him back because you just can't. Because it never works out right, as much as you want it to. And she's going to hug you and kind of like just cry a little bit. And she goes, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. And she uh, and uh, the lights shut off again. And she pulls away and she like looks around and... Um, this is... Uh, and, and right behind... Gabriel, the, um, that, that same shrouded figure, you guys all turn and you see just standing, looming, tall as can be behind him. And, uh, it is going to grab his face and try to, uh, like just claw his eyes out and pull his head apart, essentially. Um, and now it's time for the magic shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to try to banish the curse from the uh, from the so, house. Okay. Uh, at the same time that you're slamming your wand into the carpet again, um, I'm going to give Gabriel the opportunity to do something at the same time because he is actually being attacked. So those are happening simultaneously. 
I'm gonna try to okay. fucking swing with the the fucking frying pan. Okay. So you're you're but just what taking gonna, a while. What I'm trying to do. Backward. Am I so position position wise in the okay. room? Where am I? In re in reference um, to the closet. So if you if we look at it like, um, the door is on the uh, left side of the room. The bed is on the uh, the bottom of the room, and at the top of the room, just straight across from the bed, at the uh, straight across from the foot of the bed, is the closet door. Okay, and where am I? And you are standing uh, between the uh, bedroom door and the foot of the bed. Okay, so like kind of right in the middle of the room. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Am I like perfectly lined up where the door? Like, if I were to walk straight, would the closet be there? Uh, I mean, there is a straight line between you and the closet, yeah. I would like to throw the skillet back as hard as I can mm -hmm. and try to hit that shit like a target. That sits like a target and bust it in half. Okay, sick. Uh, So go ahead and roll to kick some ass, but I'm going to give you a minus one unless somebody wants to help you out. Uh, I want with... to help. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he whips that skillet straight back, and uh, how do you help out, Kyle? Uh, because I roll a perfect roll every time when I help out. Well, no, uh, how, how are you helping out in the moment? I'm throwing salt at the demon and screaming the power of Christ compels you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just distracting the demon a little bit so that he can get a better range of motion. Okay. Because the, gotcha. the demon's like, ah, So ah, ah, the shit. demon will let go of his face, so he'll be able to kind of turn and aim a little bit and just, like, whip it backward. Yeah. Okay. And I think you're I think you're gonna like the roll that I got. So I got What'd a plus one from that, right? Yeah. And then the I got plus a plus one from, the from, plus one canceled from, out my negative one. Okay. So that's ne I get plus two from tough. Uh-huh. And I rolled two fives. So twelve. Twelve. Sick, dude. Okay. <laughs> you take this skillet, you whip it backward in it. <laughs> Boom. Straight into the drywall, right between uh no, there's a part where the uh, sigil comes to a circle and then down to a point it hits right smack in the middle of the circle breaking the uh, breaking the seal essentially um, don't you hate it when you drink too much you break the seal uh, anyway uh, bop, 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 here all week um, so <laughs> it's the kind of quality comedy you can get on my channel uh, so yeah, you you smash this this heavy skillet right through the drywall, breaking the seal, and um, the um, the the spirit go like just it screeches and it writhes and then it I uh, shoves you to the ground essentially, and then it goes after uh, who is standing closest to the door. Um, the exit door or the, the closet door. door? Who's okay. standing closest to the exit yeah, door? Yeah, probably me. Okay, so it's going to rush Bobby. No! Um, So, Bobby, go ahead and make me an act under pressure if you want to dodge or roll some, roll to kick some ass if you want to um, try to take this thing head on. All right, plus two cool, so hold on. I'll try to, I guess, uh, dodge. I don't want to go against this old lady. So I have a, I would like to change something about this scene. Oh, you're using your hold. Okay, awesome. Go for it. What do you want to change? It goes after Sarah, not Bobby. Okay, Sarah is standing right next to right next to Bobby. I don't in, want in, Bobby to die. I can't let Bobby and, die. Um. Ooh, okay, so this, um, this... At the same time, I was trying to do the banishment thing, too. Yes, that's right. Uh, so you see it lunge for Sarah's neck, and you're at the same time, boom, you slam that, uh, slam into the carpet, and what'd you get? I got a seven. A seven for use magic. Oh, okay. Fuck. Okay, use magic on a 7 to 9. It works imperfectly, so you choose your effect and a glitch. And I will decide so what the, effect the glitch is. I'm trying to banish the curse. Like, now that we know that she's done magic, I was trying to break the magic that she had placed. Okay. Uh, 
in her closet. So he like broke the seal, but it hasn't made it go away. So I'm trying to just like finish off whatever magic is in the house that's binding her grandmother here. Okay. Um. Um. Do me a favor and roll luck to see if there's something that occurs to you in the moment. So. 2d6 plus half of your remaining luck points. All right, so that would be nine. Nine. Okay, good enough. Um, the cross. It seemed like it occurs to you now that like seeing her kind of pull that cross out um, and it looking like a tarnished gold, that may not be tarnish. That might be blood. That's what occurs to you in the moment. So as you cast this banishment, like, bubble, um, it occurs to you that, oh, that focus needs to be on that cross. Because okay. the seal is already broken. And then the bubble of, of banishment, you see the cross around her neck glow and the... Um, the uh, wave of pearlescent energy um, just dissipates the blood that was on that. And um, yeah, that's like the, the um, hunting phase stops. Like you see that the, the uh, specter just, ah, it just uh, screeches and writhes and, and a puff of steam and smoke dissipates and the lights kind of fade back on I told you guys I should have burned the cross <sighs> and Sarah is really shaken up she's got her back against the wall like that's not my nana that's what happens when you fuck with demons well it's gone now it's pissed it's pissed we did it. I just oh. like patting Gabe on the back, like not the time, buddy. Leon like curls up and like is cradling the back of his head. That's that's a good hit though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. For what it's worth. Gabe has nothing to say. Uh, that's that's fine. Okay. To say. Maybe you can uh, make it up. Maybe we can go out sometime. You asked me out on a date now? Yeah, right That's after wrong. I just heroically saved you, like... Real smooth. Pick your moments. Um, I thought I did. It's like <laughs> looking over at Brighton, <laughs> like... And uh, she's <laughs> going to kind of just like get up and, and start walking walking downstairs. And, and... Brighton gives you a smug look and follows after her. We just... I go grab my my frying pan out of her wall. <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm like, Bobby, Kyle, right? Like that was a, that was a good a moment, right? I look to him and I say, "You're asking Kyle for advice." <laughs> <laughs> Kyle the priest. Oh, I mean, better than the one who struck out in three seconds, but you know. Oh, that was pretty quick, actually. At least I got more than three words in. So I say okay. we all have some repenting to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, took, I, took, I took a harm from that, right? <laughs> yeah, just psychic damage. There you go. <laughs> no, I, from when she was like ripping my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you uh, let me see here. You took, um, oh, yeah, okay. So that was two harm. Okay. So when do I start becoming unstable? Um, yeah, if four. I say mark unstable, if you if you get four harm, then you uh, become unstable. But you can now you guys are in kind of downtime. You can easily patch yourself up and be like, "Ow, scratches across my eyes." Ow. I only have three, so it's fine. Okay, cool. All that's right. When, that's when on. that's when Bobby starts to go into the healer part and starts to patch up. <laughs> I got something in my eye. Can you come take a look at it for me? <laughs> well, when you when 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 you come to take a look at my eye, my hand set gently goes to rest on your waist. 
We just, play dance. Just hit, hit. fiddling <laughs> with the belt loop. Yep, the the belt loop on the hip. Yeah. Okay, we're all this time. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so... Um, you guys walk downstairs and you see that the TV um, still has the static on it and you guys all kind of reconvene in the living room there is a couple of open boxes of pizza uh half eaten on the coffee table um and uh yeah you guys just kind of like take a minute it's finally over hey i knew we'd do it can we'll you say that we solved your grandma ghost puzzle I'll say it when it happens. The lights <laughs> turn off again. And from inside okay, of the Okay, that TV, one has to be like, is your parents behind the, on the bill? <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> so from the TV, this ghost comes out and grabs Sarah and starts to pull her into the TV. Oh, Do it. Come, on, come on, run and sprint. And, uh. <laughs> Okay, so you, like, run and grab Bobby. onto her waist and start pulling? Yep. Okay. What do we do? Can I, can I pull the cord to the VCR out of the TV or out of the wall or something? Yeah, you can You can absolutely unplug it, but the uh, you can unplug everything. You just hit the switch on the power strip. Oh. And the TV st stays static. Yeah, and... Brighton with his plus one tough is just pulling as hard right. as he can. So do me a favor and Brighton, uh, roll to act under pressure. Or actually, no, roll protect someone. Uh, protect someone. Tough, okay. Wish it was the other one, but I still got an 11, though. An 11, fantastic. <laughs> okay, uh, so um, you are going to prevent harm to another character and you get to choose an extra effect. You suffer little harm, so take minus one to whatever harm would be doled out to you. All impending danger is now focused on you. You inflict harm on the enemy or you hold the enemy back. What would you like to do? Uh, on me. The it, It's focused on you? Okay, so the grasping claws uh, of this wraith just totally shove Sarah out of the way and grab onto your shirt and hoodie and or you were wearing uh hang on nice oh yeah clothes. you were wearing your, your nice clothes so it it grabs your uh your polo um and rips one of the buttons as it yanks you forward and tries to pull you into the the TV um Kyle rips yes. his white collar out of his shirt and says, no more Mr. Nice Guy before brandishing his nunchucks that he okay. always has on. All right. Um, can I try to hit the ghost? Is that You can absolutely that try to hit the ghost. Um, you can absolutely try to hit the ghost. Go ahead and roll to kick some ass. Woo! Dun do do Okay, what is it, guys? Again, I got a, I got a six. You got a total of six. I got a total of six. Yeah. That's a failure, okay. right? Yeah. Right. So uh, it's a scream out, shoot her! Shoot her! <laughs> shoot her! Uh, so, um, so all yeah. I did was hit myself with a nunchuck. Uh, would anyone like to help out and push that from uh, failure to mixed success? Oh no. Anybody want to jump in and, and help out yeah. Kyle? I will. Okay, so what are you doing to help Kyle out? Uh, after he branches out his nunchucks, I'm going to... Let me see, let me look at my moves real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have two things that I could do. I can either do Power of Love or Monster Empathy. So I'm trying to figure out uh, monster empathy. I could roll to find out what it desires, okay, or what would it accept to be good enough or distracted. Do you guys think that would be most helpful? I I think yeah. so. I mean, you can okay. definitely call some shots. That's awesome. 
All right. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try to roll to do that. Okay. So okay? roll 2d6 plus charm. That's perfect. All right. Because I got a 9 plus 2, so 11. Uh, 9 plus 2, so 11. Fantastic. You get to hold two from your list. So ask two of those questions. Let's see. I would probably do um, what does it mostly de desire mm -hmm. and what would distract it, I guess. Okay, so it most desires um, um, it most it, it, what it most wants is to infest, control, and devour. It wants to um, eat and consume the anger and rage that it would um, that it would would uh, get from dividing this family. Um, and what was your secondary question? How what would distract it? What would distract it? Um, what would distract it is if um, it was in pain, just like every other time that you guys have swung iron through it or something like that. If it was in pain, such as from like uh, holy water or salt or whatever one of the things that you guys have on you it would be distracted and you'd be able to pull brighten away so that's going to add a plus one to brighton's roll or to uh kyle's roll i i thought that Brighton. hang on don't don't look at me like that uh <laughs> uh so it's going to add one to kyle's roll and um you ha now have a seven rather than a a six Awesome. So what do I do with that? So uh, you rolled to uh, kick some ass, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so now you have a seven, which is a mixed success, um, which means that... Uh, Can I get hurt, too? So that you, you get to inflict harm on it. So how do you yeah. do that? Would it not be, uh, like, uh, affected by my nunchucks? Okay. Yeah, no, it's for sure. Um, you, you run up and you swing your nunchucks and it goes right through it. Um, uh, minor twist. Well, I didn't know because I already said that I brandished my nunchucks. If right, I, so you've got if, your nunchucks. Bobby was, yells at me like, oh, use Jesus stuff on it. I'll start throwing salt okay. again. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I was going to say, like, you pull a bo bottle of Dasani that you say a blessing over, pour it on your nunchucks, and whack. Does that no, work? Salt. salt? Okay, so you just grab, just like, a handful salt. of salt and just, pay, like, ping it in the Pocket face sand. with salt. Pocket sand again! Pocket, Pocket sand. sand. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah, no, yeah. you uh, you absolutely <laughs> just <laughs> nail this thing with, with tons of rock salt that you can, you know, grab in your meaty fist. Wow! And you wing this rock salt at it, and it goes, ah, and screeches, and it sinks back into the TV, and the TV turns off. And the lights come up, and you all feel a sense of, it's almost like, um, if you've ever been on an airplane, it's like they just opened up the door to the plane. And, like, it's fresh air coming in, and it, everything feels less pressurized. My ears pop. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Feels right. Wait. Can you say I immediately thought you meant, like, we're in the sky? <laughs> it feels like uh, how it feels when Gabe walks into a room. Um, oh. like, no, I've never been on a plane that opened the door in the sky. <laughs> Dang awesome. it, I popped the button and that like until like a little bit of chest hair comes out. You have like one curling chest hair that yeah. comes up? Okay. Just the one. I'm like thing. jealous because it's thicker than my mustache hair, you know? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So that is the end of uh today's session. That is the end of, of our of our mystery. So right. um awesome. Great job guys. You guys uh went through my phasmophobia based um based session so thank you guys for, for being here so uh, let's go through the end of session experience points um by the way anybody oh, yeah. who failed a roll you marked experience correct 
Mm. Right. Okay. Excellent. So, um, did we conclude the current mystery? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, did now? we? We did. Oh, I thought yes. that. Okay. Okay. When she went back in the TV, we defeated her. Okay. Yes. Then yeah. Do you get one? Do you get an experience for every one that you completed? Um. I'll I'll tell you how many to mark at the end of the questions. Cool. Um. So, I uh, we concluded the current mystery. Uh, did we save someone from certain death or worse? Yes, I yes. think so. Okay. Uh, did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. About Bobby's like obsession with Gabe. Okay. That, 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 is, that is new and oh, important. That too. That too. That too. <laughs> the, the, other, the other thing we know is that. Um, uh, copies of the book are getting out. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, and did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters, uh, Bobby, and Gabe's uh, entanglement? Um, Secret. No, no, no. Like Gabe doesn't know anything about it. We're yeah, just no like idea. bro friends. Yeah. He's, but he's like, best friend. we've grown, gone like really close. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are thinking. We're just best friends. Right. Yeah, best friend, uh, Blush. Okay, so also, that is a that yes Brighton's, for all four. Go ahead, sorry. I also mentioned Brighton's father's dead. That's very true. That oh, is yeah. very true. We know that Gibb can't pick up a girl. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not new. That's important, but it's not new. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um. So we've uh, answered yes to all four questions. We get two marks of experience. Does anyone level up? Me. Yeah. Um, Okay, so that level up. So um, let me ask you guys this before we part ways. Um, After this, it's been like like two or three days. You guys are still on on winter break. Uh, So what is everyone doing? what what is everyone in, in doing in your downtime? Just like so we can set a a base level for what you're what you're doing to rest up. I'm spending the the weekend at Bobby's. Okay. And we are playing video games, and uh, I'm trying really really hard not to get too close to him. Uh huh. But our thighs yeah. like touch every once in a while. It's... Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, I bet, like, Gabe can sense, like, a little bit of a difference, but he thinks that I'm probably just, like, depressed or something, you know, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's why he's staying the night. Gotcha. Just friends being friends. Dudes being you know? bros. Dudes being bros. Guys um... being dudes. <laughs> just men being guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um. He's Googling, like, on his dad's computer, like, in an incognito tab. Is it gay <laughs> to hug another guy for too long? <laughs> so, um, Brighton, what have you been getting up to over the last couple of days after this kind of taxing mystery? Uh, uh, two things. Yeah. One is that he has now a super, dis- like, as much as he was in Dungeons & Dragons, he has kind of put that away. Ooh. Yes, he has now a certain distrust towards magic ability, and so he is working on more of the uh, pseudo science type things. So he is becoming more of a tinkery guy, and he's oh. going to work on becoming more of gadgety based. And then loving that. And the second thing is, uh, he is obviously texting his new friend quite a bit. Ooh. Gotcha. Excellent. Just yeah. friends being friends. Friends being friends. <laughs> but yeah, like there's this ceremonial soul, like where he takes his D and D dice that he's always had, and he looks at him and he's like, "No more." And throws it away. Gotcha. Right on, dude. That's awesome. Um, let's see. So we've got, uh, Gabriel, Brighton, Bobby covered. Um, let's see. Uh, Savannah, what has Kyle been doing? Kyle will go last. Okay. Fair enough. Um, (laughs) well, I'll tell you now. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. Kyle, 
has things that he's doing that nobody else needs to be concerned about. This is Kyle's quiet time where he disappears and nobody really paying attention to him because he has some work to do. Okay, so Kyle just Big kind of plans. Like, Kyle just Big, kind of a lot like, of gears. A lot, lot of fingers and a lot of pies. A lot of a lot of plates spinning. He's got to he's got to keep keep moving, keep shaking. I have some recon missions to do. I have <laughs> some data to collect. And nobody knows the difference. That <laughs> nobody knows. Not a single <laughs> thing has changed. Nothing has changed at all. Awesome. Uh, so I'll let you know. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so what has Kyle been doing? Stuff and things. Stuff, stuff and, and things. Stuff. Hey, just hey. Kyle being Kyle. <laughs> just dude being br- dude being just dude. A, just and guy, guy, dude. Yeah. Uh, guy dude. So, uh, what has Leon been doing for the last couple of days, just kind of to relax and and to decompress from this? Well, he's actually pretty frustrated with how everything ended up in the house, so he has been trying something new, and I'm actually thinking that with his level up, mm-hmm. I'm going to use the take a move from another playbook. Ooh. And I am going to choose from the chosen playbook. Interesting. Uh, Invincible. Okay, right on. To take, uh, to take, uh, and that represents uh, that he has discovered how to uh, cast a ward over himself to keep himself from being attacked from behind again. Mage armor. Yes. He's learned. Like, he's like, well, I mean, I guess like. Looking through the D and D spells, I guess I can learn mage armor, and he tries to do it, and he, like, he can cast now this like, shimmering like pearlescent, uh, kind of glow over top of him. That's awesome. Yeah, and it says that in this, uh, it always I, you always count as having plus two armor, so it's like a continuous spell effect that he has yep. devised. Absolutely, that's so cool, dude. Love that. All right. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it, and um, I I cannot wait for next time we play. This has been a ton of fun. Thank you, thank you all okay. so much. And chat, no thank problem. you all for being here and for for participating and for watching. And um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't thank you enough. You guys have a great rest of your night. Take it easy. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.